it is possible for that to happen. I'm but, sorry, Carl. I didn't. I didn't mean to beat you. It's fine. I think Carl's okay. Sometimes Carl is beaten by um, Bob or Vincent, just by a little bit, but not always. <coughs> So what's new? Who's doing rounds tonight? Um, hi, Terry. Hi. Um, it looks like it's going to be Kevin. Oh, my phone. I'm getting a new iPhone. I went in. I, I, it's, it's been like calling or, or it scrolls on its own. It's not scrolling. It's, it's a problem with the display. I went to the Apple store and they said, yeah, I think you're, gonna, you're done. So I ordered a new one. So it's Kevin, Rob. Carl, Jeff, and Gail. Gail says she'll be here for the bonus. But my phone will sometimes all of a sudden act like I'm talking to it, or it'll, I'll be looking at something and it'll just start scrolling to something else, or you're look, trying to read something and scroll and it just won't scroll. You have to turn it on. Well, well it obviously it's, it on. it's possessed. <laughs> well, that's what I for a while, but then they looked at it and they said some kind of moisture's gotten in there because I broke the screen once. And I went in and took it to one of those fix it places and they took the screen off and they put mm -hmm. a new one. She says, sometimes the glass is just broken and it breaks the very delicate um, uh, scrolling feature on these phones. So, and look, we have a new, we have a new visitor today. We have somebody new. He's entering right now. Great. Everybody's all quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this new person? Look at What's wrong, Imogen? You got the sneezies? She's over there sneezing. There's, I don't know anything about this. Bob. John yet. There's Chicken Bob. Music without spares. That's what. That's the thing. The government is trying to make the left turns gay. It's putting chemicals that are making the left turns gay. It's only turn right. Is that you, Terry? Turn left, make three rights. No, that's that's Cat's iPad. Oh, oh, interesting. Hi, hey, John. We're just getting started. So this will be fun. Following GPS, go half a mile, and then take a right, a right, a it's, right. It's it's uh, Bob. Oh, somebody. Bob, else. you're making too much noise. Bob's got something going on in the background there. Yeah, I just changed it. Well, John, John's going to be joining us. I'll tell you guys who he is in a few minutes. Whenever more people get here, but welcome. We can't hear you, John. You're not muted, but we can't hear you. But you can hear us, right? I guess that means yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can see your lips moving. Yeah, but you uh, but, but there was no there was no sound, and now you are muted, and now you're not. I don't think he's. he's I don't think he says. I think he said he hadn't used Zoom much. There's a uh, there's a microphone volume adjustment under audio. Yeah, if you go down to the bottom. There should be a a microphone that says you know thing says mute. Oh, you yeah. click on the little, little up arrow right next to it. There's uh, audio settings. Yeah, and then you go to the audio settings, and then there there's oh, there's uh, on the right hand side there's speaker and then microphone, and it there should be a little bar that wiggles when you talk. Oh, let me see if mine's wiggling when it's I talk. It's also yeah, possible that Zoom is using the wrong audio input. I think that's right. more likely. <coughs> yeah, you might have more than one microphone. Or Zoom might think you have more than one microphone. <laughs> we'll get it figured out. Lots of people have problems. What then, about what's, now? Oh, there he is. It, uh, we, we, hear, we hear sounds. So what did you do? <laughs> Thank you. What was wrong, John? Uh, I don't, I never used this, so I didn't know where to go, but uh, uh, Leonard got me there. Yeah, you push a button, enough buttons, you'll be. Yeah. Okay. Just, you only I, want to push one button at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's you test it. That's good. Yeah, I was just saying, I, I'm not feeling terrific tonight, but uh, I don't ever get a chance to do this, so I wanted to show up. He's He's got COVID, you guys. <laughs> oh. I, I hear that's going around. So it's a perfect time that's, to be it's playing trivia. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Trust me, many people have played because they because they're quarantined at home. This is a great way of socializing. Yeah. 
it's a good it's a good way of killing a little bit of time you can stay as late well, as you i'm glad stay. you're not feeling terrible yeah if you have to leave early that's fine nobody's going to care that's just the way we we run here because oh. the first word in our trivia is social then it's trivia, <laughs> social, trivia so okay. i thought the first word was susan so susan, no, it's called Susan Gerber. No, it's social trivia by Susan. Susan All is right. the fourth word. Fourth word. All right. So we're okay. And Are be you going to be here next week, Susan? Yeah, I think I will be here next week. Let me look. And see. I'll I'll do a category then. <gasps> <sighs> Terry's going to do a category. Okay, got it. Fantastic. And I've got a really good bonus. Oh, perfect. Uh, should I'll you need you one? In. Okay. Yes, I do. So good, people. I have uh, Peggy who says she's going to do one also. So Peggy Terry Leonard, okay. Oh, here comes Larry. So this is today is the fourteenth, right? Yeah, I will be here the twenty first. That's Caspian's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be here on Thursday, and then I won't be here again for a while. Or if I'm here, okay. I won't be here running it. Hi, Larry. Hello. Ready. I'll, I'll so, try and stay awake for the whole thing tonight. I'll, I'm gonna <laughs> start tap. I'm gonna send a chicken to you so he can sit in your lap so you can <laughs> little chicken. Bob, you got an extra chicken you can send over to Larry. Min is. <laughs> John, you were probably thinking I was. I was kidding. Yeah, he Min, is, um, Min is sitting on eggs. She's, oh. she's gonna her eggs or somebody uh, else's. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But. Oh, that's great. Hello, Max. How are you? <laughs> we'll get a whole bunch of them in there, John, at times. There'll be a whole bunch of chickens. And whenever he like leaves a seat to go to leave, the chickens are just sitting in the chair. <laughs> and Janine, who plays, she's up in Oregon. And when the weather's hot, she's in a she lives in a cabin. When the weather's hot, she she plays out her deck, and there's all these chickens wandering around behind her whenever she's playing. It's pretty funny. Yeah, so that's cool. Once in a while on uh on the Science Facts and Fallacies podcast, you'll hear Kevin Fulta's chickens in the background. Oh, I didn't know he had chickens. Yeah, he does. He's yeah. in Florida. Yeah, he's in Florida. And they have chickens. Is he out 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 live out in the boondock somewhere? Yeah, he's got a farm and everything. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I guess it makes sense. He's a he's a, a strawberry thing. Yeah, he's he's the guy. He's the strawberry flavor guy. Yeah. <laughs> Calgary's allowing uh, people to uh, have I think up to four hens, but they have to go through a one month program on how to take care of them. Oh, well, that's nice. That would be nice. I, I'd like to have chickens. I have cats. I, I just don't think I could do that. <laughs> so yeah, that combination of... may not be great. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you it have is... a chicken house and, you know, yeah, you, know, you have to have a coop and everything yeah. else and you yeah. have to know what you have to feed them. And it'd be great. I have friends that have chickens, but there's a lady well, probably... doors down that has chickens, but we're not supposed to know it. Okay. Unless you have a large family, you'll probably be uh, giving a lot of eggs away. Yeah, Janine's constantly, she's got so many eggs at her place. So here we, here comes Jeff. Caspian, are you having dinner? Hi, Jeff. No, I just haven't turned my mic on or camera on. Oh, well, we'll just keep you incognito. We'll just pretend. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. <laughs> here comes Robert. Robert Palmer. Rock star that he is. Robert Palmer. Yeah. I did a talk yesterday. Hello, everybody. I think I did a talk Greetings. yesterday and Rob joined it and uh, and it was Dave Thomas. It was the New Mexicans for Science and Reason talk. They they had their speaker cancel. He had a day's notice. He said, could you please do a talk tomorrow? And so I did. And Rob showed up and, and he answered some of the questions. And, and um, yeah, then I got an assignment. Yeah, Dave Thomas is like, hey, uh, could somebody look at making a Wikipedia page for what was it? I, I don't oh, know. He didn't. He did not email me yet. So and, uh, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't hear the beginning of the conversation. I actually bugged in at the end, which is when he mentioned. Oh, Rob's looking for something to do. <laughs> I'm glad he volunteered you and not me. 
It's good I to be voluntold. Yeah, he he was he says yeah. Go ahead. It was something to do Wait. with uh, whenever they're trying to change pi to three <laughs> I think that's what it was. I didn't even hear that with, part of it. I did hear the word pie was used, but I yeah, wasn't sure if he was about talking about food being, product or the mathematical cost. I don't know. I'm, 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 very con, I'm very confused. I see some that looks like Kyle Polich, and the letters say Kyle Polich, but this is a background not at all associated with Kyle Polich. Not only is it not a... And, his, uh, and, his and, 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 and you're... Uh, we can't hear you. And not only is this not a garage or something, there are no disco lights or anything. No birds. And there's no volume. Oh, Ooh, I can no, hear got, very got far a little away. bit. He's very far away. Yeah. He's very quiet. Jeff, is Julie playing tonight? No, she's still up for the next few weeks. She's she's doing uh her she's got her uh class her exercise classes, uh her pole classes for the next. Uh, on a Thursday? What is she thinking? Well, <laughs> she wanted to break. I got it, it. It's with a particular instructor who we normally watch do performances and they're like and pay to go do that. So it's like it's kind of a thing for her. So cool. Yeah. Kyle, did you get it fixed? Maybe. How's this? Well, we you can hear like you. You're at a fish bowl. Very, yeah, very echoey, but it's louder. All right, let me go get a mic. Yeah, deep fakes, it's hard to do the audio. Yeah, you just sound great. <laughs> uh, oh, it's not Kyle. Yeah, it, it sounds more like something is in front of your mic. Maybe you mm. should go to the garage. Like a piece of cloth or something? Mm. Oh, we need to see oh. his house. It's got a beautiful I'm, I'm house. looking very carefully at his eyes. That's the hardest thing to do in a deep fake. I wonder if they're going to flicker. <laughs> see if, they, uh, if it breaks down. Let's see. How's your how's your new joints, Leonard? Very good. Very good. You're are you really? you you're still walking with a cane or you're back to uh, I'm uh, I'm walking with I I just went with my I just had my last physical therapy in, in house physical therapy appointment yeah, and go. we we took a, a sort of a double walk around yeah. the block and I use the cane okay. uh, mostly for show. Oh, it's Isabella. Look, Isabella's Hi. here. Hello, Hi. Isabella. Hi. How are you? We haven't seen you in ages. I've been very busy. I bet. That What's is. going on up there at the at the college dorm room? Um, not much. We moved our beds around. Um, so my oh, beds. Wow. Against the wall now. She moved. Her <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. I let's see what else I do. Um, we had spring break. My friend invited us to his house in Tahoe, Lake Tahoe. So we went there for spring break and we skied basically the whole time. So that was really fun. That sounds tough, but someone's got to do it. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, I changed my major. So that was kind of a big deal. Wait, what? I changed to um, public health, uh, public health, uh, at public health with a minor in epidemiology and public health administration. Okay. That makes sense. All yeah. right. That's cool. It's, so it's still in the health field. Okay. There's so still public health, still healthcare, but I've been working a lot more at the hospital doing the more public health side of things. And I realized that was kind of more me, more collaborating uh, with other people and just talking to other communicating with others versus just like doing nursing which i still want to do but i think this is more my personality so oh, this will be still great. healthcare but yeah. different side of healthcare but it Fantastic. seems like you 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 could yell at people more you know without yeah it's fine. it came She's down personality i think she'll be fine it like came that. down to just not okay, really vibing do. with the classes i was gonna have to take i was gonna take a lot of like science classes that's what i would do anatomy I was not doing very well in it and just looking at the classes I had ahead I was like these don't look like something this doesn't like something I'd enjoy doing I'd just be kind of like suffering well, I'm glad you changed and not enjoying my early major so I've been kind of doing a lot of research the last like month ish uh -huh. and then I submitted the app I submitted the form to switch actually yesterday so goodness gracious yeah. Well, new plan yeah. but i think it'll be better in the long run good because you're right in the early early days of it i see exactly joined us hi mike what did i miss right <laughs> you know, that will be a nurse 
Oh, it's probably something. Well, Mike, about, I was going to ask you, uh, how, uh, how's yeah, the I, I over there I wouldn't use those in there. I would yeah, just I give Larry, your mic is on, Larry. <laughs> You're talking oh, to sorry. us all. I don't think you know that. Well, things are great in Brooklyn. We caught the guy. Nobody was killed, so... Yeah. Well, so caught is a weird phrase when, when he actually called and said, hey, I know that guy. That's me. Come and get me. That's really bizarre. Wait, he said that? Yeah, he's the one who called in that, hey, the guy you're looking for, I saw his picture on TV. This is what they keep saying. <laughs> he looks familiar. <laughs> it's me. Come and get me. It's bizarre. Really? I thought they caught him at a McDonald's. But yeah, he said that's where he was. They or, did. Yeah. It's, it's bizarre. The guy's not mentally no. okay, no. right? They're you know, doing what he did is uh, uh, at least an indication that not everything <laughs> yeah. is. But I think he's preparing right the inf insanity defense. Yeah. By the way, he turned what, himself. What up. was your first clue? <laughs> how did it? How did nobody? Well, I would kill? say living in New York, but that <laughs> might upset somebody. Uh, how did no? I I don't understand. How did he not kill anybody or hurt somebody super bad? I mean, it was, it was shot well, in a small area with lots all the of smoke. People. He never well, the really he let the smoke grenade go and then he was just kind of shooting randomly. Smoke bomb first and then he started shooting. But he couldn't see anything. I know, but that's what makes me think that how did he completely miss people? Wait, he didn't maybe, he's a, maybe he's a stormtrooper. But <laughs> 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 ah, very good. Yeah, like it's harder than it looks in the movies like to shoot if you're one with a pistol. If you're not aiming at people and spraying randomly, then it's actually pretty hard to hit anything you're quote unquote aiming at because you're not aiming at anything. So it's it, it's like random trajectories. Yes, like it will definitely injure a bunch of people, but you have to hit somebody pretty square in the torso and through a you know through a vital organ and things like that, or or in the head. Which again, like when you think about the amount of person that is not head, most of it isn't. Um, so, you know, it, it, it takes quite a bit, um, but I, I do find that my favorite, my favorite joke about it is, uh, uh, so, so so 50% of Americans are torsos. Well, you know, maybe people were dropped down and he was shooting like yeah. where they would have been. No, they, he was, they said he was actually shooting low because he had dropped down from a kneeling position and was shooting straight ahead. Oh so that's God. why a lot of the injuries were in their legs. Yeah. Using a rifle? No, yes. no, no, it was a handgun, wasn't it? Oh, handgun. Oh, well, so here's the fact yeah. for you. The average combat range for police officer shootings is seven yards. In those shootings, 70% of all the rounds fired by trained yeah. police officers yeah. failed to hit yeah. the human target they're aimed at. Yeah, that was surprising. Yeah. So the other, the other thing, luckily, he, he, he was, uh, I don't remember how many magazines he had, but like the one he was going to put in the next, the, the gun jammed. Uh, Definitely yeah. stormtroopers. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Romero. You guys getting ready for me to come out and see you? Yeah, yeah, we're getting stuff ready. Uh, adver trying to advertise it. To yeah, I saw that. Through. That's great. I love the picture that you guys are using. I'm going to use that picture for everybody, I think, but I don't look like that anymore. <laughs> But it's only like five or six years old. I mean, I swear it was me, but <laughs> it's a nice looking picture of me. And we're going to go and we're going to hang out in North Carolina. It'll be fun. Yeah. And Ben, you know, I'm going to come see you guys over there too, huh? You and Carl. I'm coming to St. Louis. Yeah. What day, what day does that I don't one know yet. <laughs> Someday. I, I, I know because I'm going from Buffalo, New York to somewhere. And at the moment, I'm not sure if I'm going to go the, the last place, okay, I've got Michigan is the only one I'm waiting on. So if Michigan says, if I'm going to Michigan, then I, no, Minnesota, that's where it is. If I go to Minnesota, then I'll go from Minnesota to St. Louis, or I'll go, uh, if I don't go to Minnesota, then I'll come straight to St. Louis. But Arkansas said they may be interested. So if I go, I would go to Arkansas, then to St. Louis, and then to Denver, and then I guess I come home. Something, I, I'm not 100% sure I haven't booked my flight home yet. <laughs> I will know soon, but I don't know Susan yet. Susan is planning a super spreader trajectory. I'm spreading me. <laughs> That's all I'm spreading is me all over. All right, we're getting there close. What time is it? Que hora es? 6.17, okay, we're Six getting close. Shaking. We're getting very close. 
Okay, so let's let's let uh, John John know a little bit about what we're going to do, so he's not freaked out. All right, so um, am I in jeopardy of freaking out if I don't know? <laughs> it's a little weird. Okay, so everybody, this is John Guy. Everybody say hello, John. Hello, John. Hi, John. And, uh, fairly somewhere. new to our community, but he's come into it like with feet first. She's written a book. We're waiting for it to get published, and mm. like really, really, really like corresponding with lots of people so he's he's making his way in a big way in the community of the skeptic community already but i met him we met up in um san jose god was it this last summer i don't know i can't remember dates very well anymore. well actually no it was november <laughs> yeah oh january february yeah, but it was sunny out so it might as well have been summer yeah so we went over to um San Luis Square in San Jose. He came out to San Jose and I drove up and we had lunch. And anyway, so social media, social trivia by Susan, how this works is, so this, you haven't really used Zoom before, right? No. Okay, that's fine. Um, you're the one. <laughs> there's one left. So what we're going to do is you're going to be just guided how to go along this. We're going to, I put everybody on a team randomly-ish and uh, what will happen is on your screen, you're going to get, um, uh, when I decide to put you in a room with your team, it'll have a little message that pops up and says, Susan Gerbic has invited you to join room and it'll have a number and you just click on it. And then you'll be put into a room with about four to six people. And every week it changes. So we don't have teams that are set so that makes forces people to become social and you know meet each other and that kind of thing and then within your team you'll be able to discuss the 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 categories and there's 10 questions and you'll discuss it and somebody will keep score and it helps it's helpful if you have a paper and a, you know something to, to write with because we're gonna have different people do the categories and they're gonna they're going to give 10 questions. And when they give those 10 questions, here comes Kyle again. When they give those 10 questions, you don't want to say anything. You want to just be silent. Unless you have something funny to say. If it's what funny category are you say. doing tonight, John? Because it's the first time a person plays, they have to do a category, right? You're talking oh, about oh, oh, that no, is that's brutal. Not, that's not true. He's been <laughs> so we have to be nice to the people when they come the first time. You guys know the rules. The second time, let them have it's it. On. First time. <laughs> it's miss we're, we're on our best behavior yeah <laughs> yeah that's a rule so so the first person's going to do a category tonight is going to be kevin who isn't here yet and then rob's after that and then carl and then jeff and then gail's going to do bonus you can stay as many as you want we we take a break after the second round um and we take a picture so you want to stay at least until the second round so we put it up on facebook and so they'll, they'll read out 10 questions. They're going to appear in the chat. You should see a chat box down at the bottom of your screen. It's this yeah, chat. I see it. If you click on it, the box will open up and you'll be able to see what people said. And you can write in there. Make sure that when you write that you're either sending it to everyone or you're just sending it to one specific person. You have to change oh, I it. See, I see the little dialogue box. You just select who you're sending it to. Exactly. Hi, Janine. Zoom has a weird glitch where if someone sends you a message, it changes it from everyone to that person. Personal person. And yeah. it's not obvious so that you might think you're sending it to everyone. And this happens pretty often in Zoom meetings. And you sent the message. You think it went to everyone, but it only went to one person. Yeah. Another thing everybody should be aware of is that the person who's hosting the event, me, um, always gets the chat. So if you're chatting about me, <laughs> uh, even if I'm not in the room, now hi, you Julie. Tell me. Hi. hi, Julie. It's good to see you. At least you're still here. We were wondering if he, he buried your body under the house or something. I don't know if we I were mean, all wondering. Deep fake, right? Yeah, deep fakes. Well, you know. That was a very good deep fake. <laughs> very good. Right. Almost so, as good as Kyle's. Um, so what, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, oh no, much better than I Bob's. get all the chat. So I can look at the chat. <laughs> you don't you, you don't get private chat, so do you? I get everything. <laughs> private chat. 
Everybody should know that about Zoom. And yeah, that happened in one not. of my classes and the kid got kicked out of class. Yeah, I, I don't not. look at the private he, chat. He messaged there, someone, there. this teacher's a bitch, and then got kicked <gasps> out of class. Got yeah, that was, out that of was big news early in the pandemic when people just started to use Zoom. Somebody had a company meeting and the people <sighs> were all complaining around about the manager thinking it was private. And then she saw uh, it, fired it everybody. ain't private. So FYI, all of you guys okay. out there who are learning how to use Zoom, on your way i thought it was private mm -hmm. i don't look at it i mean i got better okay. things to do but i could <laughs> <laughs> i mean i get i get really bored and say i wonder what they're talking stop, about i'm saying all those nasty things about you susan you know i hope oh, so. no. but make it up because if you really i mean go for it just really embellish i mean no but there's nothing interesting really to say so really play it up i, I want to see the good stuff anyway so, uh, Susan, oh, wow. Oh, damn, I sent it to the wrong person. So, yeah, you can swear in this game. So, what, so, um, like when it's Rob's turn, he'll read his category. And I don't know what the category is. I have no clue what it is. And it's going to be on some topic. And it could be some nerdy thing. It could be some literature thing. It could be music. It could be house plants it could be I, I could be almost anything we've done so many different topics nothing yeah. as crazy as like punch and judy though no one no. would do that but, but i think no. that rob always gives a, a key a hint in the background so and so does uh, carl so technology oh. recover from the roswell incident it's damn a, it i hope it's a goal threes <laughs> goal three carl, carl, carl's the only one carl's the only famous one ray guns famous ray guns yeah carl's got a category Kevin, Rob, Carl, Jeff, and Gail. Oh. And then, so we keep score. I'm kind of loose about this. It's just a social way of, it's just social. That's all it really is. The trivia is kind of just there. Is that, have I got it right, you guys? No. <laughs> okay. Sometimes the trivia interferes with socializing. Yeah. <laughs> I started this as a one-off. We were only going to do it one day. And every, there's people all over too. Um, nobody's, we don't have any Australians. Richard Saunders joins us once in a while, but we have Canada and we have America, but we don't have anything. I don't know. We don't have any other countries here right now. Is, is Richard coming tonight? I don't know. I haven't talked to him in ages. Adrian, how about Adrian? Uh, I don't know. I talk to her all the time. I don't ask. Um, Obvi's here. Where's a little sprout? <clears throat> There's oh, our yeah. little sprout. Hi, Hi, no, I thought he got some roundup sprayed on him. Damn. My um my dad might be showing up um later. Let me see what he said. Um, He's driving. Yeah, he just uh, he and my sister just got to Sacramento, like, so um, like a few minutes ago. Uh, a few hours ago, but okay. they have to do a lot of shopping, so <laughs> they're probably. I, gonna... I invited somebody that we uh my wife and I do square dancing with Mike, so I don't know if he's going to show up. Okay, well that's cool. Just as more more the merry. So um. Fair. Do you know if James is showing up tonight? Who? James. Okay, in Sacramento. Yeah, because my dad wanted me to, to um tell him something. That you're there. Is James <laughs> showing up? Well, don't send it in a direct message unless Susan can see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be if he's not here, you can't. Here, I can say. I'll, I'll yeah, obviously not. But we could encrypt these before we send them. You mm. can do a code. Yeah. I had heard a fun bit of trivia today. Uh -oh. All of the uh, insurrection people who are awaiting trial are kept in one wing for, I guess, protection reasons. They're all in the same place. And at 9 p.m., they all engage in singing the Star Spangled Banner together. Yeah. Oh. Well, I didn't know it's Star Spangled Banner, but they said they're doing that. They said they don't want to put them into the other rooms because they'll, they'll make everybody... Um, Insurrectionists? You went on people? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. all the nonsense. other inmates will punch them because they're annoying. Yeah. 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 They, they have a they newsletter the they're sending around them? each other, too. Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> they really think Oh, yeah. Patriots, okay. James will be I here. Guess. He says he's running late. Surprised Kevin's not on yet. Yeah. Uh, where's Kevin? He's probably coming up with something really clever at the very last minute. Fin finishing up his, yeah. Okay. Kind of. What time is it? All right, so I'm going to start putting, getting ready for your rooms. 
And I have a visitor due to, you know, spring break. Oh, hi. Jordan. How are you? Hello. Good for you. Hello. Are you going to be playing for a while, Jordan? Uh, we'll see how long you last. We'll you also got up really early this morning. Yeah. You what? You can do that. I had to get up early this morning because I had to go to my mom's BNI meeting. I had to wake up at 545. What's a BNI meeting? It's like a networking, business networking thing. <laughs> Max I had to wake up at 545. Welcome to adulthood. Yeah, that's no fun. <laughs> yeah, there, there are many people that have to do that for many, many decades. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Usually up by 4.45, 4.30. Yeah. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> I am I very glad to be in academia. For, for an 8 a.m. class. Yeah, I'm very oh glad gosh, to be in I academia I can't <laughs> where I don't have to wake up that early. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Um, Cat's iPad is also Bob, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is cat the name of your chicken? No, that's that's Max. Come on, Avi. Max and Mim, 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 Min, Mim. Min. 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 I've been playing with Min. this for a year at least. No, he barely <laughs> says the name. No, less than a year. Max okay, so Min. they've been playing with this almost a year. <laughs> for for so months. Would, for a long. How time. long is that in chicken oh, years? Hours. <laughs> yeah, how long is that in chicken yeah. years? Jeff still had those those kittens. Susan, do the project tell Mary son. How many seconds is it? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. All the time. Oh, Janine has finished the book. I finished it. It All was right. good. We still can't talk we about need, it. We need to chat later. Really? Okay. Tell of a good book. Who are we? Wait, so, what? So if you're still here at the end, the people who read the book, we can get a breakout room and we can discuss. Oh okay. my gosh. And then I and then I read the Martian because I liked the uh, Yeah. It was they great. Were both so you did the Martian, Martian good too. second? Yeah. <laughs> he wrote the Martian. It was good. Did you do Artemis yet? Not yet. That's next on my list. Okay. Rob is second. Well, oh, well, oh, well. Well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. So let me randomly make these rooms oh, with some sure. forethought. <laughs> Okay, let's do that. That sounds interesting. That looks like a good mix. Robert is second. Does not Carl sound random. Is third. It is Jeff. a good mix. Does not sound random. Jeff is fourth. No. So I need to put Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, where are you? Oh, you got to put you in four. Oh, remove Julie so I don't counter. That it's off. not random. I'm always in four or five. Uh, not today. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Oh, wow. There you go. Nope, you're not. Okay, cool. Um, oh, you have to consider that uh, whatever room you put in Kyle in, there's another person because there's the parrot there. So, and parrots talk. So that counts. Parrots talk. Ooh. She could uh, technically contribute up to 13 answers. That, all right. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask the right questions. Right. <laughs> Give me question one. Does Polly want to crack? <laughs> <laughs> her name isn't Polly. <laughs> What's her name? Hey, how do I know? Yoshi. I don't know Polly. Yoshi. So she. Okay, so That's one, racist. Four, one, two, you think we're all Polly? Three. Racist. Mm -hmm. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Rob. Speciest. Yeah. Speciest. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. You're such a bandit. <laughs> you just noticed? <laughs> no. No, I'm just pointing it out again. <laughs> Good for you. One, two, still classy. have your finger, Kyle? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's pretty gentle. <laughs> oh. As far as birds go. <laughs> when, when, when I first got him and he used to run in the yard, he would, he would try to mate with the, with the full-size chickens. <laughs> his, his favorite target was the Australorp. What? I mean, Janine will explain why that's funny. What is that? I can't. Why? You, you, do you think I know something you about know, chickens? Oh, well, she, she was the one black chicken. Oh. And what did you call it? An Australorp. It's a breed, that, but they're black. Thing? They're it's a breed. black. Oh. And that was, that was his, he just seemed attracted to her. 
So it was it, kind of it's funny. funny how they, it's funny how they have their favorite friends. Well, <laughs> got a crash on them. It sounds like <laughs> something. Uh, th th I don't have any boys here, so yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. I lost a chicken last night. Oh, oh. Well, that doesn't mean she really lost one. It could be anywhere. She's got a thing for her chicken. No, meat. I know yeah. where it is. Instead. Oh no! Oh. Did it get eaten? No, I don't know what happened. Uh, I but so, I did. I did was it check. Depressed? Well, I checked because there's a lot of talk about the bird flu. Um, uh, but the problem is, is that our chickens are very old, and you know. And this was one of the old ones. This was one of the black ones, but since the black ones were black one, black two, this was black whatever. So. Ooh, I've got one too many in this group. Okay, hold on. Here comes um, Kevin. Well, that's good. Put, he's we can't start without him. That's yeah, he's literally. Finished. One, two. Three. I heard that. So let's move <laughs> this person. We've been we've been waiting for you, Kevin. Hi, Have Kevin. You really? We can start with you now, now that you're here. You know you're doing the first category tonight, right? Oh, I didn't know. I can, I'm ready though. Good. Are you guys ready? Uh, look, <laughs> yep, ready okay. okay so what's going to happen, John? I'm going to send you guys all to your rooms. So you'll just click on the button that's going to appear in the middle of your screen. And then you'll go and you'll be in a room with a few other people. And then what will happen in there is you guys are going to choose a name and you just chit chat and stuff like that for a few minutes. And then when you're ready to come back, somebody will show you how to come out of your room, right? Somebody will show you how to get out of the room and manage it. It's easier when you're in a small group. And so you're coming up with a team name. We like something funny. We like things that are puns. I like things that are current in the news that they're always kind of fun to look at it that way. So. You guys have fun. I will see you in a couple minutes. Um, go to your rooms and play nice. I want only nice things today. We have a visitor who's playing for the first time. So you know the rules. Be very nice. You got to put me in a room, I think. Yeah, you're going in room one. Oh, I am first. Yeah, you're first. I guess I should put it on pause. This is so interesting to watch me. <laughs> have, you, have you told them yet that you're dropping out of college, Isabella? <laughs> and you're pregnant? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, they're coming up for the Easter weekend because it's a three-day weekend for my dad. So oh, they're bringing the cool. dog. So I'm very excited. Oh, I'm more excited you better to not see. say the dog is what's exciting. I'm, I, I said, I'm like, my mom's like, are you excited to see the dog? And I'm like, yeah, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Isabella, come on! I'm a mom. That hurts your heart to know yeah, he that your does. dog is the raw. That there was a cat, January. <laughs> and you went to Tahoe for for spring break. Yeah, what a life! Gosh, I wish I was in college. I mean, I could go to college now, but it wouldn't be the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're all everyone's kind of like burnt out right now. We're all just kind of done. No one really wants to do anything. We have like four more weeks left. You do? Me at all. Yeah. Oh, look, it's so shit. Oh, yeah, it's like so the the semester of cla the classes have ended for at, at Western here. All mm -hmm. we have left is finals. And that's just Yeah, we have uh, four more weeks left. That's including finals. So technically we only have three more weeks left. Um well, you and then we're done. finals are only over one week. They can for us here, they can be scheduled anytime during this month, which is yuck. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm uh Luckily, most of them, I only have one that's an actual test. The rest of them are all projects that I've been working on for the last month. Mm -hmm. um, but then I have to deal with the whole moving out of the dorm. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. I told you. Apparently, I have power. Caspian has power. What are you going to like show us what you look like? You know, I'll just show what I look like. 
Well, the power is going. The power. He won't show us what he looks like, as the power has gone to his head. <laughs> You're in I charge, have Cass. ceased to require corporeal form. Yes. Okay. So, uh, hi, Deborah. Oh, she's still connecting to audio. <coughs> she's going to go on team three. So, Bob, Carl, Mike, you got Deborah. All right. All right, here we go. I want to know what you guys have chosen for me for team names. This is going to be fun. So Kevin, John, yeah. Kyle, Terry, what are you going to call yourself this this today? Comrade, you sank our battleship. Oh, I thought it was my <laughs> my oh, battleship. Yeah, comrade, you sunk my battleship. <laughs> that was interesting today. Big battleship. A, a while, Rachel has appeared. Oh, hi, Rachel. Oh, okay, here we go. So team two, Isabella, Janine, Larry, and Rob. What are you guys tonight? I'm on mute. We are wondering, can brown eggs be made into Easter eggs? Don't ask. <laughs> That's really. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes, they can. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Janine wasn't so sure about that. Why wouldn't they? Well, you can, but then you'd, you can, but then you'd be struck by lightning. Okay. Okay. Good to know. So Bob, e Carl, Mike, Wolf, and Deborah, who will soon be in your room. We are the Depp v. Her jurors. Oh, Johnny Depp and, and what's don't her know face? what that means. It's it's Johnny it, Depp, Amber Heard. Yeah, they're they're in, they're in a defama defamation court battle. It's really ugly. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Did somebody um, slap somebody? I like I didn't know. Uh, she almost cut his finger off during domestic dispute. She's been abusive to him. Yeah. Oh, they're they're a couple. No, they're, they're divorced. divorced. I didn't know she was more. Uh, Elon Musk. Certainly yeah. hope um, not. That that happened to Edward Scissorhand. <laughs> yeah, but before she, uh, um, she the originally she claimed that he was being abusive to her, but then things came out and it was like, no, she was the one being abusive. Although so far the they he sued her in uh, the UK and he lost, and the judge in the UK trial said, "Yeah, Johnny Depp, you were beating up on Amber." So, so far in the court cases, it's zero to one in her favor wait wait so they lost in one nation now they're doing the same thing in another no you have enough money how can they freaking do that this has been going on for a very long house. time i've listened yes. to the audio recordings Ooh, isn't that what yuri geller did to randy he sued in multiple I countries i don't think so oh. i think it's just no one. i don't think so okay so ben jordan and maybe rachel faith romero and jeff who are you playing us tonight in oh, Soviet uh, Russia, warship sinks self. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to say it with a Russian accent. Oh God, time. you're opening your accent. You guys are wonderful. You have such you have such wonderful thoughts of how I actually my talents. Okay. And then last but not least, of course, Avi Caspian, Leonard, and James. Uh, we're not advancing, we're not retreating, we're advancing in the opposite direction. <laughs> Another Ukrainian reference, yes. Another Ukrainian. I love it. Okay, put it in the chat because you guys know I can't spell. Oh, oh, okay, waiting for it in the chat so we can, we can get ready. Okay, it'll take me a second here. No problem. Sorry, if nobody picked the name like the opposite direction, okay, very good. I thought about picking a name like looking forward to a free Twitter account with every Tesla purchased. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's now uh, backing down on that uh, offer. What, like he, he has can't. nothing better to do, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. When you got billions. He, he would be even worse. He'd like make it to where you have to sign your car in with your, tes uh, with your Twitter <laughs> account before you can drive it. You only tweet in your Tesla? Cross register them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, so here we go. April 14th, 2022. 2022. We are here on game number 102. <laughs> we have um, season two, episode 45. 
45 is just a nasty reference anymore. They kind of screwed up that, that number. <laughs> they really used to like number 45. So it's we have- the number they call between 44 and 46. Yeah, it's the number between 44 and 46, the number that shall be not be named for a while. <laughs> so we have five different teams. We have five, five different teams on two, one on each hand. And we have a new guest. We have John Guy here with us tonight and everybody's in their best behavior. So you guys have to guide him along, make sure that he, he's, he has a good time. And the five teams that are playing tonight, which we do not know who will be the winner tonight. It's always different. It's always exciting. It's always fun. Team number one is Comrade, You Sunk My Battleship versus <laughs> Can Brown Eggs Be Made Into Easter Eggs <laughs> versus Dept versus, versus Herd Jurors versus in Soviet Russia, warship sinks so. <laughs> Okay, versus we're not retreating, we're advancing in the opposite direction. So we're going to get started. Uh, Caspian's the, the person tonight who has the powers. Mm -hmm. Hi, Deborah. Are you being interrogated, Deborah? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you on the night of? April 14th, 2022. You were on. As soon as my cat shows up, I'll be definitely interrogated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. So first off, our first our first of the mini categories tonight is going to be Kevin Mocker in the great state of I don't know where you are. Massachusetts. Massachusetts, yeah. <laughs> so the great state of Massachusetts, as you guys all know, I have no idea what the categories are that are coming up. They could all be the same. I wouldn't know the difference. And <laughs> as usual, I will be playing on each team. And as I go into your team, I'm there just for the one time. And I'm there to talk you out of the best <laughs> answers. So take that with a grain of salt. All right. Kevin, you are up. Okay. Another okay. mystery category. Okay. Caspian? I have no idea how to mute people. <laughs> this is the power of your mind. I can't believe I've never made you the thing. Where's somebody, the mute thing? Participant. tell Caspian. Shut up, part thing. participants, right? Isn't that where it is? Shut up, yeah. participants. Go under participants, the little carrot. All I see is invite. See, oh. this is what you get with nepotism. Oh, yeah. Nepotism. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's uh, the difference between clicking on the arrow and clicking yeah. on the little icon. Don't click on the up arrow. Somebody says it. No, click on the thing that says participants with 22. It'll pop yeah. up. And at the bottom, there's controls. Okay. <laughs> Everybody going mute now. Except me, of course. I'm going to unmute. Okay. This is answer the questions or fill in the blanks to uncover the theme. You're muted. You might want to be muted. I don't know. <laughs> Never sounded better, Kevin. That's Oops, the mystery. It went, it went. Answer the questions, fill in the blanks, uncover the theme. This theoretical physicist made revolutionary contributions to our understanding of the nature of the universe. He died at his home in Cambridge on 14 March 2018 at the age of 76. Name him. Everything should be in the chat, John. So you should be able to. Um, Do we have to give him the correct name? <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> name he had him. to so die that day. No, don't say anything. Guy. Don't say anything, John. This don't our type chance anything. to rename him. That's correct. Don't type anything in if the chat. If you come up with another guy who died the same day and he's internationally renowned, whatever, I'll give you a point. But you, it won't help you with the theme. <clears throat> who was Paul singing about when he sang the lyric, Nothing Can Come Between Us? Yeah, so don't type anything in the chat, John. Yeah, don't answer it. Wait for you're in your room until you're in your room. Blank blank, born Margarita Carmen Conciano or something, October 17th, and then here's her date there, 18, 1918 to May 1987, was a Hispanic American actress, dancer, producer. She achieved fame during the 1940s as one of the era's top stars appearing in 61 films over 37 years. The press coined her, coined the term the love goddess to describe her after she became the most glamorous screen idol of the 1940s. She was the top pinup girl for GIs during World War II. Fill in the blank. 
That's a long question. Sorry. The next one is short. What is written on the bottom of Woody's boot? Next one's also short. Who was the, the narrator of the TV show, Everybody Hates Chris? Looking for the last name. Does everybody need to know who Woody is? Or are you, hey, hey, no, hey. no, 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 no hints. Oh, I'm just saying, are you making that part of the no, question? No, no hints. No hints. I know the answer. Shut up. People well, know. A lot people of people know. know. No hints. It's possible. Uh, it doesn't matter, Rob. Doesn't matter. The way the question's worded. Somebody mute him. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying, Rob. This is trivia. Yeah, but it needs to be specific. <laughs> okay, it is ahead. specific. It's trivia. It's a theme. Only one answer will fit the theme. <laughs> Wrestler Ivan Putski, also known as the Polish Power, used the finishing move called the Polish Blank. Fill in the blank. This popular Canadian TV show ran from 1991 to 2006 and was shown in the US on PBS. Characters include Ranger Gord, Harold the Nerdy Nephew, Winston the Septic Tank Guy, Mike the Convict, Dalton the Frugal Antique Shop Owner. Common phrases used on the show included the handyman's secret weapon, duct tape, keep your stick on the ice, and the man's prayer. If I'm a man, but I can change if I have to, I guess. Name the main character, blank, blank. Hint, if you are an art student, you might find this complimentary. Ooh, a hint. The Canadians will know those, I think. Next one's a short one. On January 13th, 1968, Johnny Cash performed and recorded a live album from what location? I want the birth name. This, this is the birth name. Leslie Towns Blank, a famous American entertainer who was actually born in Eltham, England in 1903. This person appeared on radio, TV, and films, and even hosted the Academy Awards. This person died in Los Angeles at the age of 100. Fill in the last name. And number 10, just because I haven't done a Billy Joel trivia question in a long time, ha, I'm gonna ha, do one. Ha. <laughs> Find that hard to believe. Blank, Blank, Blank is a 1983 song performed by Billy Joel, the third single from the album of the same name. This song, whose musical style is an homage to Benny King and the Drifters, reached number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, the third consecutive top 10 single from the album. It also spent one week at number one on the Billboard Adult Contemporary Chart. Fill in the blanks. Now there is a bonus. You identify the theme, that doesn't give you a point. It just helps you solve the rest. But the bonus is you get to use Google Maps for this one. My hometown is Attleboro, Mass. One neighboring town fits with the theme. You get a point if you can get which neighboring town of Attleboro, Mass fits with the theme. And that's it. Go to your rooms and have fun. Hey, Cass, can you send us to our rooms, please? And Deborah, I need to send you to your room, which is going to be three. You're in with the, uh, I can't remember their name, Death versus Herd jurors. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> First one, I think that's Stephen Hawking. I'm here. That's Hi, what everybody. I think too. Hello, I think it's Hawking. 
What do you think, Susan, on one? Uh, well, John had put Jerry Gelman. Uh, uh, Jerry Gelman. I thought Murray was still alive. Didn't he just die? Oh, you're on mute, John. Yeah, you're on mute. Yeah, because this was 18. That's a while ago. So I thought Gelman died in like 18 or 19. Hmm. He was at a conference I went to. Uh, you're going to uh, talk us out of it anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, well, I do it equally to everybody. So, but I, yeah, I, I really do try. I try. Can you I don't think it's it? Hawking? No, because Hawking. What wait, was did it? Did he die in 18? I thought he did, but I don't Five know. Five years ago. How many theoretical <laughs> physicists do we know that are famous enough that would be in this game? Well, Hawking taught at Cambridge, right? Yeah. Yep. He held the yeah. Newton chair. Hawk, yeah. So Hawking taught at Cambridge. So that that must be him. Seventy six sounds about right because Gelman was like. I think if it was Gelman, he'd have pitched a fit because it was in the chat. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. Good point. If Kevin had noticed. If Kevin had noticed. Okay, so uh, I think it's okay. Hawking's good. I don't Who know was what Paul song. singing about when he was singing the lyric, nothing can be come between? Was it him and Linda? Or his son? Does anybody know, know which song this is? Don't make me sing a song. I don't. I can no. only think of the Madness song that has this exact same lyric. Mark, if you're around. Okay. Three. Who's keeping score, by the way? I'm writing it down. Okay. Born Margarita Carmen. Oh, could this be uh, the woman who went with the castanets? Oh, I, Charles. Oh, well, I thought the famous uh, pinup glamorous screen idol. Wait, I was going to say it? Betty Page. I thought it was Jean Harlow. Well, go born with in, that. Born in uh, 18. But she wasn't a screen idol, but she was a top pinup girl for GIs. Jean Harlow was. Yeah, I don't think it would be Charo, the most no. goddess. Um, and Harlow's older, but she, I don't think she's Hispanic. So, well, they would have hit. Carm, you mean Carmen Miranda? That's what I was thinking because of the Carmen, but you know, maybe that's not right. I don't know though, because she's a dancer. Actress. Well, maybe when we get the theme, we'll we'll, we'll okay. Maybe. Yeah. Number yeah. four is Andy. What about Rita Moreno? Yeah. yeah. Rita Moreno. What about could she have been the love goddess? Maybe. Was she in six she was, different films? Well, she was. She's. I don't know. Rita Moreno was Hispanic, right? Yeah. And she um, is a really good dancer. Okay, so we know four is Andy. Yeah, and <laughs> all right. And Rob's like, "Well, we need to clarify." I'm like, "Shut up already!" I know that. I know. <laughs> okay, yeah, I have okay. never heard of "Everybody Hates Chris." I have. I, oh, it's a show I never saw. I thought it was Chris Rock. Oh well, that works for me. Is that the person who hates? Who's the narrator? I sure. thought so. Is he the guy who got tagged, Chris Rock? Yeah, yeah. He got hit. Correct. Same say, guy. I didn't know he was black. No, I think you're right. I think Chris. Yeah, he's black. I don't yeah. think I would have remembered that unless you said that. But I, I think you're right. I think that was Chris Rock who did that. Was okay. he the narrator of the show? Yeah, because he was like the obnoxious noise in the background. I've never heard of it. I've heard of Everybody Loves Raymond. It oh, did no, so that's so. A whole different show. I never seen. Yeah, it. I think it's. I think that's good. Okay, wrestler Ian. Ivan. Ivan. Putski. The Polish power used a finishing move called the Polish pulverizer. That's what I was just thinking, Ooh. but I just made that up. <laughs> you think Is you that made really that? You might have known it all along, Terry. But it's only because it's a good alliteration that it popped in my head. But a let's finishing go move it. called the Polish Polish pulverizer. It seems like that would be his name. Polish, the Polish. It's got to be a P. The Polish push, the Polish, Polish punch, the Polish. Yeah. 
No idea. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. Once we come up with a theme, maybe it'll be easier. Okay. Yeah. So, this popular Canadian TV show ran from okay. 91 to 2006, was shown in the U.S. Uh, PBS characters include Ranger Gort. I've never heard of these people. Me neither. Me neither. Oh, it's Canadian. Well, why would we know what it is? Yeah. Keep I don't your know. stick on the ice. <laughs> That's funny. But complimentary would be colors, right? If you're an art student, you may find this. Oh, interesting. Yeah, colors are complimentary. Right. Black and, why? Black and white, orange and blue, purple and yellow. I don't know. So the name of the main character could be like orange or, you know, some color name. Yeah, or black, or this could be a black and white show. I don't know. That would be truly surprising for these dates. Yeah, okay. it would. 2000, okay, number eight. Did it went, it was oh, this is Folsom Prison. Yeah, was it Folsom? Is the yep. answer oh, Folsom or is the answer yeah. Prison? Uh, depends on how, uh, I mean, let's put Folsom Prison and count it either way, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Well, he had the whole song about it, and they did they did a scene about that in the in the movie with uh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, number nine. Do we know? I have a guess. Lester Towns is. But I don't know if we should skip that one right away though, because he performed in a lot of prisons. He mm. was like he was known for performing in prisons. He performed in Folsom, Alcatraz, all over the place. So, what's significant about January 13, nineteen sixty eight? Well, it's That's when he question. did this live album. That's so, is it like live from Folsom? It or? was live. The Folsom one was live. Sixty eight sounds like about right. Otherwise, you know, live from Attica, live from Joliet, live from Lompoc. Who knows? <laughs> Doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leslie Towns is a famous. No, American I think you're right. Then. Who was actually born in? Is it? I have Nielsen? a guess. That was going to be my guess. What? Nielsen. Leslie yeah. Nielsen. Okay. That's my guess too. Oh no idea. And then ten, I think, is for the longest time. For the no, there's only three three words. Oh, There's, yeah, it's the, it's the longest time. The longest time, it's got to be right. It's just the longest time. Oh, and look, um, I think he's given us an extra hint in how wide the spaces are. Yeah, it's a two. Wait, he has yeah. two. The longest time. Well, either that's a distraction or we have the wrong thing. I think it's a distraction. Mm. Okay, so let's go before we get to the, the bonus. So can you read off the answers, Terry, that you think you have so we can see if there's a pattern? Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Hawking. I didn't get number two. Jean Harlow, or Rita Moreno, Andy, Chris Rock, Pulverizer, Folsom Prison, Leslie Nielsen, The Longest Time. Okay, so Hawking, something for two, Rita Moreno, Andy, uh, Chris Rock. I wonder if it's supposed to be just Rock as the answer. Andy Rock, Rock, Pulverizer, Folsom, Pris um, hmm. Nielsen. Oh, we don't have for seven, right? We don't have seven. Right, or two, or two. Robin. Yeah. We send Robin to her room. Us. Robin's going to be in, um, where am I putting her? I will put her with um, five. Maybe the letters I'll spell something out. Oh, we no. should look at the map too, remember? So oh yeah, the map. Neighboring something, cities. Northern. Something near Attleboro. I have the map up right here. What do you see? What's so near? There's Bellingham, Franklin, Brentham, Foxborough, Mansfield, Pawtucket, uh, whatever the hell that is, Sinkunk, S E E K O N K, um, Cranston, Warwick, Johnston, Smithfield, Woundsocket. 
Zakis. Terry, what do we have for nine? We have Leslie Nielsen. Oh, and then way out here too, there's Easton uh, Raynham, I guess, R-A-Y-N-H-A-M, Raynham, and then Taunton. Hmm. He likes to do songs. Yeah. He likes to, he's done like uh, American Pie, John. Uh, Kevin is, is done, like he does Bye Bye Miss America Pie. And all the clues are lyrics from the song. Or he did recently Imagine, Imagine that There's No Heaven. Yeah, that was good. And so I wouldn't be shocked if he did it again because he's, he likes doing those kinds of puzzles. <laughs> this could be, all of these could be tied to some lyrics to something. Well, there's a lot so? of names. A lot of names. I noticed that to a lot of names. Yeah. There are a lot of humans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the longest time. For the longest time. Could it be? That's the only one that doesn't really fit. Well, not necessarily. If we're talking about prison and time, those things go together. Mm -hmm. well, that's true. Okay. But, if yeah. it was had anything to do with prison or jail, would Leslie Nilsson have anything to do with that? Well, it could be the Nielsen ratings that are the longest time on the Nielsen ratings. Something that was really popular. Andy? Andy, Chris, Steve. Andy Griffin, Andy Warlock. Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith, the pulverizer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, OK, we know for sure we have Andy. I mean, yes. we're positive. positive. That's our most confident answer, actually. Okay, it so is. Andy is... Lots. We know we have, and we know that the, the answer that has prison in it, it's either prison or it's probably Folsom because it's it, like, like John said, yeah. he, he gave us a date for a reason. Yeah. Um, well, Andy. Andy, Andy and Folsom. Griffith. Well, we don't technically know it's a prison. It could be like Carnegie yeah. Hall. Right. Johnny Cash played Carnegie? I don't think so, but I'm just saying like we're we're working on this like questionable assumption that it's a prison that I came right. up with. Okay, so our best answer is Andy, and that's the only one that we have for sure. Yeah, but yeah, the so rude. That album what? was live from Folsom Prison though. And I year. think it's I Folsom. thought so. So then it's Folsom, yeah. Andy in Folsom. Okay, all right. And so. I feel like the longest time, I'm pretty confident. Okay, does Andy too. have anything to do with Rita Moreno? Moreno? No, I don't think so. Andy. Rita. Hey, who was who was the girl that they that they Rita, had? Rita, Rita, who was the girl that they had the picture up of on the Shawshank Redemption? That, that was Jean Harlow. Ooh, 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 You might have it. Does this have everything to do with Shasha? Oh, Egyptian? yeah. Could it, could it, could so it? Were they in Folsom Prison? Yeah, oh. No, no they but in, they were in prison. They were in they Shawshank. Were in Shawshank. Oh, yeah, is, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shawshank. Live from Shawshank? That could be. Yeah. Could live from Shawshank. But Chris? Stephen Hawking, Hawking. Oh, The Rock. They were in The Rock. Oh, The Rock. Rock, Rock. Yeah. Rock. rock. Andy. Andy. The Rock. Rita. 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 There was a Rita. Rita Wasn't Hayworth. There? That was it. Rita Hayworth. Thank That's you. who it was. That's it. But The Rock is not Folsom. The Rock is Alcatraz. Yeah, that's but true. They but they could all be tied to prison. Or they all could be tied to Shashank. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't that be a yeah. coincidence? <laughs> They're all tied to could it, is there could Shashank, it be Shashank now. Okay, what does Haw Hawkins have to do with it? That could have been the name of the prison main guy, the warden. Hawken? Warden Hawken. Maybe, oh. just, you know. Okay, what about the uh, polarizer? Pulverizer. Pulverizer. That was the, the little metal they, hammer. The little they hammer. They they and they pulverize the. A the, rock hammer. I've yeah. only seen this movie once, so I'm I'm oh, barely I, remembering. I remember they oh, played a the song. Movie. Remember they played an a opera great song, movie. and it was oh, some woman singing. 
It's a great movie. Yeah, but it's kind of one of those ones that I really feel like I've only watched once. And you don't need to be in here. Well, I what was number two? Out. Paul singing about. What was Paul singing about? His son? Man, if I could know the song, I could help a lot more, but I can't place that lyric. Come on what, out. What was... You don't need to be in here. Come on. You talk to Mark that way? What? Well, you Just stay out. Oh, season. yeah. You're not a good kitty. Sorry, you've been evicted. And what would the t the Canadian TV show be? Oh, boy. Maybe we could back into Kids. that. Well, oh, that, one, that one also has a convict in it, right? It had Mike the convict. Yes. This and the septic tank guy, and in the Shawshank, they did he did crawl through shit. He did crawl That's through true. shit. I remember that. Yes. Okay. And what's Nielsen though? Winston, the septic tank, and Dalton. The name of the main character, and we have this hint about complementary colors. Yeah. What about our? What about the um, the Google Map? Well, yeah. Dupree, he, his name was Andy oh, Dupree. Oh, yeah, Andy Dupree. Oh, Dufresne. Dufresne. Oh, thank you, Dufresne. Dufresne. Gosh, Sean, Dufresne. you're really helping. This is great. So could that be... <laughs> is there a Dufresne, that, Massachusetts? Could that be the set number seven? There's a there's a Cranston, a Warwick, Providence. Cranston. What's the... Wait, who, who directed that movie? Mm. Oh. Isn't it somebody famous? Yeah. Like uh, Spielberg? Mm -hmm. No? Maybe. It, Stephen it, Hawking. It could have <laughs> been Spielberg, but that would be Stephen. Stephen Spielberg. Yeah. Stephen Hawking. It could be. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So it's Stephen. Well, that's reaching. Stephen Hawking, Stephen Spielberg. I know. It's reaching. Okay, but it's good because we think where did answers. where did they go? Where what was the they went to Mexico, right? The it final was, destination. It had some fancy name, De La Mayo or something. So the longest time they were in there, the longest time. Yeah. What was the name of the guy who got out and couldn't make it and hung himself? That was Brooks. Brooks. That might be something. Is, so let me pull up a Google map. What was the name of the place we're supposed to be looking At, for? Attenborough. Shawshank? Massachusetts. Okay. Oh, Attenborough. Look. So I look like I'm helping. Okay. <laughs> I got to pretend. Franklin. Franklin. Well, there was also, well, if we're on the right track with the Shawshank, the, um, there was that tree. Where the stuff was buried under. Where was that? Ooh. Shoot. Because he had to go could there. Have... How recently have you watched this, man? Wait, I've could seen, it have I've been Jane? I've seen it like 20 times. Oh, I've seen it a long yeah. time. But could I've it seen have it been fun. Jane Mansfield? Or are we going with Rita Hayworth? Well, Rita was, didn't we say Rita was in the movie? You said, Terry, you said there was a Rita. I just can't remember who Rita was, though. There wasn't a lot of women in this movie. I think it's the poster, like we said, right? Yeah, okay. that was Rita Hayworth, I think. Okay, that's good then. Okay, so let me look at this map. Okay, number two. Nothing can come between us when he's saying, he's singing about his brother, his wife, his friend. Definitely, it's a female. I'm sure that just knowing Beatles lyrics, but I can't place what song. You don't is. think it would be about his son? Um, no, not a no. Maybe a okay. wing song. Maybe no. It's it's gonna be. Well, Linda was his wife. Yeah, but there's no songs about Linda that I'm at least none at face value. It's and I don't remember like characters. Linda. You know, it's to make them up. It's. Um, how do I give a hint to everybody at the same time? Go to each room? Well, you can yeah. type it in, but people have problems seeing it sometimes. So you have to oh. Why do you want to give a hint? We think we figured it out. So don't oh. give a hint. Okay, I won't then. Thanks. I won't <laughs> give a hint. No, just, just because... Are I'm they having the same, trouble? The same thing, the same problem I'm hearing in every room. Okay, we don't want it. We're fine. Okay. Hey, wait a minute, wait Susan? A minute, Susan. No, because if he gives a hint to everybody and we figured hey, it guys, out. Is 
Is Shawshank prison in Massachusetts? We can't look it up. Oh, no, that was in England or something, right? No, it was America. No, it was American. It was American. I Not thought... the, that was the location. Hey, there's shot. a city near him called Mansfield. Did yeah. we have a Mansfield in our list? No. Oh. Jane Mansfield was not it's Plainsville. Right. Plainville, go away, Kevin. I'm about Norton. to close the rooms. No, shush, no. Go away. No, we're not ready. We're not ready. How about North? There's a team that's back already. Room T three is already back. Oh no. How, How about, about Norton? 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 No, no. I don't. What was? What's Andy Dufresne's real name? I've never heard. Oh of him. wait, he's that young guy. What's his name? can't remember he does a lot of cool stuff too on the side yeah and then we have the 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 black guy his name what's his name god morgan freeman yeah that was morgan freeman yeah so oh, there's there a freeman or a morgan city nearby i can't remember andy dufresne's real name there's a lincoln Put um, for two, put Desmond and Molly Jones, maybe. Who's that? Both of them? Oh, Desmond. Okay. Yeah, Obla D. Something in the band. Desmond? Desmond and Molly. But it says who? Okay. Got it. I was just a guess. What about seven? We don't have seven. What's the question? The Canadian show have something to do with color? Oh, yeah. Who knows? What's what's a color that would be a name? Red. That was <laughs> oh, red? Yeah. like red. Okay. Forming. No, red was the was Morgan Freeman's name, wasn't it? Didn't they call him red? If so, there it is. Red. OK, well, Wait, is that red. the name of the show? A popular television know. show? Called we red? just need his no, no, name. We need the name of the main character and the hint that it is, is that it might be a color. And I don't know anybody named Orange. Well, does it have? It has two words to it, though. It can't just be red. Red, oh. something. red something. Red something. Red something. Oh, we'll never get this. Red books. Red. Red Opera. rocket. Sure. <laughs> the red rocket. Yeah. <laughs> that um, that was for sure a Canadian show in the nineties. <laughs> what? Wait, there really is a show called Red Rocket. Uh, no, I mean yeah. the joke. I don't Could know. Be. Okay, so Norton Redmond? has nothing Red... to do with. Um, yeah, we don't know. No Nortons. Ed Norton, but I don't think he was in Shawshank. Ed Norton. No, Ed Norton wasn't in Shawshank. To the moon. So, where no, did they go was... to in Mexico? Do you remember? Baja? Is it Baja? No, it had a real fancy name, like, like, uh, like, De La something. Or I can't remember. Was it Spanish sounding? Yeah. Del Boca Vista. De, de, something De La Mayo. Hmm. I don't see anything on the map that would look like that. No. Um, oh, wait, I got two now. Cranston? It's lovely Rita the Meter Maid. Oh! Nothing can come between us. Okay, then number three is still Rita Hayworth. Okay. Well, That's then. Right. Are you sure? Lovely, the meter may nothing can come between us. Yeah. So what about? Okay, three? no, we're sure about that. But Rita Hayworth isn't dead, is she? Oh yeah, she is. She's dead. She's got to be dead. She's got to be dead. <laughs> she was a top pinup girl in the forties. Okay, you're right. She's dead. So we have two Rita answers. Okay, that's fine. You sure? I don't know. You got another option? No. <laughs> um, so so we think it's Shawshank Redemption. We're not getting a point for that. Oh, darn it. It's supposed to just help us figure the stuff out. All yeah. right. But we could get a point for this for this the city near him. Yeah, and Cranston keeps popping out to me too, and I don't know. Well, why. Cranston is the name of an actor. 
uh, Brian Cranston, Cranston, because maybe there's a Cranston in the movie. Yeah, that was the yeah. guy from from the Breaking Bad. From the uh, mess. Breaking Bad, yeah. Yeah, that's it. The mess show. Yeah. <laughs> the that's mess a, show. Oh, I never saw that. I hated that show. I watched one episode. That was awful. Oh, it's so it's about as addictive as meth. Yeah, <laughs> it was addictive. It was, Robin, it was Robin, who's here now. She oh god, she loved that thing. It was awful, but good. Oh no, it was awful. She Are came we over and made Cranston? me watch it. She oh, forced cool. me to watch the first episode. I said, I'm not Pick Cranston. It. Wait, what about okay? But it, we don't get a point for Cranston. Yeah, you do. it's it's the wrong show. Oh, I thought we were putting it for. Isn't there a Cranston in? Oh, Red Cranston. No, no, no. Cranston. For the for the bonus. I thought there was a city named Cranston. No, there yeah, is. there's yeah. a Cranston near Providence. Yeah, so Cranston's number uh, bonus. But the bonus, he said there was no point. No, no, we get a point for the bonus. Okay. There's no point for guessing the 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 mystery. Oh, Shawshank. What about? Okay. What about Red Robin for number seven? The main character? You mean th the burger place? Well, there that place is so good. Isn't it? Okay. I, I ate there for the first time a couple months ago and was blown away. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, I'll go with it. I don't know. Do we have an answer for everything? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go back. So okay. okay. He's gonna want to close these rooms. Are we done though? They're not there. We we have a minute left i think we're as close as we're getting okay, yeah all right Kevin is. we're reaching what does yoshi point. think uh she wants to go to bed actually <laughs> okay. I'm about to put her to sleep. okay i'm gonna put kevin in our room here all right oh, yeah, i'm flinging idea. him from one room to the other oh that's i love funny. doing that all it's right. such a cool thing i'll be right back then okay kevin we're flinging i flung you from your room i hope you were in mid-sentence that's okay. I was just changing my photo. So are we going to, um, so you, we're ready to come back. Yeah, let's, how do I do that? Close the rooms. But you need to be in this room. Um, yep. go, to main, go to the main room before you close the rooms. Well, did, oh, okay. How did everybody go? How did everybody do? I don't know. <laughs> are we leaving? We will yeah. 59 we're second leaving. warning. Did you guys get the theme? Yeah. Yes. John got it. He did. He's watched this movie like 20 times, he said. <laughs> Which is Excellent great. choice then to have him on my team this week. <laughs> yes, it was. I like I I like the irony of it too. It's got kind of <laughs> It is it is my favorite movie. Okay. It oh, is a good movie. It's a phenomenal movie. Okay, I'm really leaving the room. Great job team. I will, yep. I will uh, be competing against you in the next round somewhere else. All right. Okay. Good job. Thank you, guys. you, Susan. Thank you. Uh oh, they're coming back now. Finally. Boom. Uh -huh. It does that. So it's 17 seconds left. Damn I was it. looking at it when, it when it called us back. What took so, you guys so long? We, have we been here for hours. Oh, hours. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are so smart. <laughs> well, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys ready for some answers? Yes. 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 I think so. yes. Number our one. New, our new person on our team kicked ass and knew a lot of. Number them. one is Stephen Hawking. Yep. yep. Hey. Did anybody get number two? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we we're pretty yet. sure. We don't we know did. yet. Carl. Kyle. Kyle did. What is it? <clears throat> I think it's lovely. Read of the meter maid. Yes, oh. it is. Oh, oh. 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 oh the reader. Oh. Okay. oh, yeah. So Watch Paul Simon shine. sang yes. about a meter maid? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Let's oh. kill the bird. Meter maid. Man. Uh, Nothing can come between us. Yes. Mm. Uh, now oh. you get it? Okay. Yeah. Number three is Rita Hayworth. Woohoo. Yay. Hey. <laughs> Number four is Andy. Everybody probably got that one. Except for yeah. Rob. Yeah, number for five Rob. is Rock. And number yeah. six is Hammer. Oh. Andy Rock Hammer. Ooh, close with that one. Rock Hammer. Rock. Scissors. Yep. <laughs> number Living seven. Fuck. Number seven is Red Green. The TV hey, show. Hey, Larry. Oh. Number so eight close. is Folsom Prison. Yeah. Yep. Number Spelled nine is Bob Hope. The answer is Hope. Uh, oh, Bob number, Hope. Oh, yeah. Number 10 oh. is An Innocent Man. Oh, wait. Yeah, we what? got that too. 
And bonus. No, we got that wrong. Very good, Larry. And it wasn't and Towns Townsend. The, the bonus is Norton. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Do oh, you know who Norton is? Norton. No. Hey, Norton. Norton. He's, uh, Norton, Norton was the warden. Best friend. Norton was the warden. Oh, damn it. Oh, Shawshank. Darn the it. The theme is Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, yeah, but number one, we, you, from number one, you can get it was Stephen King. See, Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption was the name what? of the novella. Andy what? was the main character. He used a rock hammer to break out of prison. His partner was Red. It was prison. The whole movie was about hope, and he was an innocent man. I'm shocked I didn't see the scene. Oh, we got it! <laughs> Woohoo! Not. We got the theme, but it didn't. We didn't get a point for it because we. Didn't well, I know city. we needed more points. <laughs> and I even tried. I couldn't remember the name of the. Word. I think we did pretty good. Um, yeah, much better than I thought we were going. I would to. never have gotten this. No, Very good. Me neither. <laughs> okay, so look at we we're joined by Kelly Burke. Oh, Kelly. Kelly. Oh, Kelly. 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 Those of you who haven't seen the movie, go see it. It's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. It's a great movie. Oh, it's just too painful for me. I Isabella had a whole bunch of answers for us. We could, so. Isabella we could. is just a wealth of knowledge. I don't. How about some scores? Good. All right, so let's do our score scores. Hold on, let me get over to that screen. And of course, I had red green. So, keeping in mind that Kelly is probably going to go on the team with the lowest score, just keep that in mind. Comrade, you sunk my battleship. What's your score? Six. Oh, we did good. <laughs> Can brown eggs be made into Easter eggs? Seven. Oh, no. I think it's seven. Yep, yep. I agree. Seven. Depth versus herd jurors. <laughs> and level 11. 10? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who's this, who is the uh, who on your team is the um, Shawshank Redemption person? Mike. There are Mike. a couple of them. On your Mike team? Mike got it. No, Mike got the theme. <laughs> Mike is the expert on this. Huh? I figured out the theme. Everyone else, it was a team effort, though. Okay. Yeah. But I would not have gotten a lot of what I got without him getting the theme, and I had no clue on the theme. Okay. In Soviet <laughs> Russia, warship sink self. <laughs> that's awful i apologize it's, not, it's great <laughs> well, yeah. i apologize for my accent how many points we got seven didn't we yeah, yeah. seven right seven don't ask me and we thought the theme was family guy so <laughs> <laughs> okay we're not Keep retreating we're dancing in the opposite direction five well, Welcome to the team. You, really, you really got higher than that, right? You're going for Kelly. That's yeah, they brilliant are. Brilliant move. Well, no, you're getting last. Gail because Gail's here. So I think Kelly's going to go into one. Yeah. Wait a minute. Not we, 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 not got the low, we, we got we got the lowest score. We got six points. You're getting Gail. Because <laughs> Gail's but here Gail, right now. But oh, no, Gail was seven. supposed to be part we of our team seven. anyway because she's doing bonus. Yeah. So Gail was already <laughs> part of our team. Well, she wasn't yesterday. They're fighting over you, Gail. No, we're fighting over Kelly. I don't know Kelly. why. I'm not good enough to fight them. We're fighting oh. over Kelly. <laughs> well, let's see. Let me look at this a second. Because John is four. That Kelly would give him five. Remember, I'm going to be leaving after this next round. Yeah, Augie's going to leave. Well, John, but see, John will probably be leaving too because he's on the. He's, he's can, can I see the scores? Oh, you want scores? Yes. Who's making the noise? This Larry is. Noise. Stop making noise. Here we go. Six, seven, ten, seven, five. So Gail's okay. going here. If Second Bobby's place. That's good. So what? What? What news story am I missing this week about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? Oh come on! You're a lawyer. Don't you know what's going on? No, uh, I'm. You don't know every lawsuit in the country. <laughs> the, trial of, the trial of the century. Johnny Depp's defamation suit against Amber Heard in, I think, Virginia. Oh, good. Your... Larry, please mute yourself. Ow. Ow. Please, Larry. 
Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Um, okay, I didn't make it, but I, I understand that um, he may have a good chance of winning that. We'll see. Who's, who's next? He lost, he lost to in England. Where's Palmer? I think I'm next. Good job, Kevin. Hope you guys liked it. Yeah. Uh, I liked it better because I knew because my team kicked ass, but I, I exactly well, you I didn't really kick ass. It's that. second to last place. Yeah, I we did not. It. Well, a six is really good. <laughs> Two teams got seven, one team got a ten. We did yeah, really good. One team got in. lower than you. Yeah. Second to in. last place is not really good. <laughs> well, here we go. Susan has always been really positive. really good at finding the positive. The positive. One of my neighbors, she calls me Pollyanna. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Or was it I you, Deborah, that says I'm a Pollyanna? Somebody I have called... said that. Okay, I don't Deborah know. calls neighbor, me Pollyanna. It's not my neighbor. I told Other my neighbor, people have thought it. I told my neighbor today, I said, I said, don't you call me a Pollyanna? And she goes, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I think about it, it was Deborah that's always calling me Pollyanna. What's a Pollyanna? Oh, somebody do a category on Polly old Disney a movies. Susie Sunshine. Someone, movies. someone that refuses to be with just one Anna. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody who is um, who sees the good in everybody and and that. Oh, here comes Karen. Karen. Where shall I put Karen now? We yeah. need Karen. <laughs> Not as much as we do. <laughs> I guess it depends on what the new next categories are, huh? Right. The Ask category. her the question for number two. See if she knows. Karen? Yeah. Karen, can brown eggs be made into Easter eggs? No. <laughs> <laughs> question <laughs> two. <laughs> what question Both of them, then. That's two a good question. Life. I like what that one. singing let's, about let's when you sang that the answer. Okay, you think Karen will know the answer? Yeah. Okay, so okay. ask her, ask her, Kevin. Who was Paul singing about when he sang the lyric, nothing can come between us? Who was Paul? Yes. McCartney, McCartney I'm thinking. Maybe. Uh, nothing can come between us. Who was he singing to? John Lennon? Sing it, Lennon. Nothing can come between us. They're giving you a chance to change your answer. Wow. And you wanted Larry to mute. <laughs> we had to get that too around. <laughs> and you didn't put that on pause, so now YouTube That's is almost as bad as happy yeah. birthday. No, a point to There was actually some guess. harmony and a little bit of hints of a, almost a round to go in there. It was almost. Good. Okay, I will I will bow to your to your pleading, Leonard, and I will give you Karen and Gail. Oh, oh boy. What? But oh, the gal is going in one. It's an outrage, I tell you. That is an outrage. Is. Susan made an executive decision. Oh my gosh. So oh yeah, I should let you know. You're getting the small room, Susan. <laughs> you get the air mattress. I can be on the couch. I don't care. So John, they pick on me a lot. It's okay. <laughs> I have the power of evicting him. Uh, All right, so round two. Okay, Robert. Round, round two is going to be on a little thing that's been in the news for quite a number of years. So you all should know about this and be experts in it. It is Havana syndrome. Oh, oh. <laughs> so uh, yes. You guys but, so, think that's so why I'd be on your because I'm on your so, team. So so the picture behind. Well, I just picked it because I sent in my article to Skeptical Inquirer on the subject three days ago, and I thought it would be published by now, but it isn't. So it could be any day now. So my first article on the subject was quite a few years ago, and this was the photo that Skeptical Inquirer used because it's. <laughs> Oh, Science fiction that. ray gun. Ray gun. The ray gun. Okay, so 10 <laughs> questions. No bonus. Everybody muting in a second. Okay. Question number one. And I wish I could do impressions here, but I'm not going to even try. Soon after the initial revelation to the public of acoustic attacks in Havana, at a press briefing, Trump formalized the U.S. government's position when he said, I do, not, I do believe Cuba is responsible. I do believe that. And it's a very unusual attack, as you know, but I do believe Cuba is responsible. 
In what year did this accusation occur? Yeah, I want you to do your best Trump. <laughs> that was my best Trump. Plus or minus five? <laughs> yeah, there's a plus or minus on that, zero. <laughs> Question number two. What was the second nation to claim that its embassy personnel had also been attacked in Cuba by acoustic weapons? Second nation to claim that, okay. Question number three. Which of the following has not been officially hypothesized as causes of Havana syndrome? And I'm gonna give you, uh, let's see how many is that? Seven, seven possibilities. Infrasound weapons, malfunctioning surveillance equipment, microwave weapons, neurotoxic pesticides, pulsed EM energy, subliminal images, or ultrasound weapons. So one of these is not. One of these is not like the other. Question number four. Which of the following symptoms has not been officially blamed on the attacks? And I'm going to give you also seven. Ear pain or tinnitus feeling pressure in the head, visual problems, vertigo, dizziness, or nausea, enterograde amnesia, brain damage, insomnia, or fatigue. You didn't put menstrual pain. I, I think I have Dash. all those. I've been Havana. You've been Havana? <laughs> no, that's banana. Next one is a true or false. A 2019 study of affected diplomats published in JAMA weakened the attack hypothesis by concluding that, quote, psychogenic or psychosomatic causes are likely to explain the majority of these reports. True or false? Question number six. Also true or false. A 2020 report by the National Academy of Sciences validated the attack hypothesis by concluding, quote, an unknown directed energy weapon appears to be the most plausible mechanism to explain these cases. Is that true or false? Question seven, another multiple choice, being easy on you people. In January, 2019, two scientists analyzed the recordings made during a claimed attack in Cuba, which had been used by the State Department to train embassy staff about what to listen for and report. They examined pulse repetition rate, power spectrum, pulse rate stability, and oscillations per pulse, and concluded that the sound was most likely caused <laughs> by, again, seven options, an acoustic weapon, crickets, drilling equipment, malfunctioning TV electronics, overpressure in the room's HVAC system, pulsed EM energy weapon, road noise from a nearby expressway. Karen's got it right. Lovely read of the meter made. UFOs? Bob? I didn't get that about? it was a song. It's been going over in my head and suddenly I heard it the, as a song and it, then I know. Hey, it. hey, hey, that's an old round. Stop it. <laughs> hey. Lovely Rita, lovely Rita, lovely Rita. <laughs> in October, 2021, President Biden signed public law 117-46 authorizing financial support for Havana syndrome victims. It is called the Havana Act. This acronym stands for, quote, helping American victims afflicted by, and you have to complete the name. Number nine, name the medical sociologist who is a vocal opponent of the official story and who I have twice interviewed. In 2020, he co-authored a book named Havana Syndrome, which maintains that the claims of injury are due to mass psychogenic illness. And final question, also multiple choice. This one only has, uh, let's see, five answers. What is the full title of Bartholomew's book? Havana Syndrome, a story of political blunders, sloppy science and bad journalism, or Havana syndrome, mass psychogenic illness, and the real story behind the embassy mystery and hysteria, or Havana syndrome, why the Trump administration is just plain wrong, or Havana syndrome, the Cuban embassy mystery, and finally, Havana syndrome, tilting at windmills. And there you go. Any questions?
I thought I knew this subject a lot more. <laughs> oh, your team is screwed, Rob. Oh. 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 Okay. Caspin, do your magic. Good luck. I will be there in a moment, team. I have to put people on their teams. Gail, you're going to go to five. Karen, you're going to go to five. And Kelly, you're going to go to one. And I'm going to two. So I think their, I think their eventual uh, diagnosis was that it was just mass hysteria or something like that. OK, let's see. Let's start Hi. with one. Um, and I didn't write something down on that. No, oh, it's all in the chat. Acoustic attacks at a press briefing for formalists. Okay, let me read them over. But I do believe Cuba. What? Oh, that's what year did this? Did yeah, Trump say here? this? So we have four well, years see, to choose it from. 16, 17, 17 18, 18, and 19. Oh, no, no, no. It's got to be. So those are the four years he was in office, right? No, it wasn't in. No, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Yeah. So okay. I'm thinking it's 2018. I didn't Havana syndrome happen before mm -hmm. his, yeah. his presidency, like 16. Yep. Well, it, it may have yeah. happened before. For with the what other year did but, this you know. accusation occur? So what year did Trump <laughs> accuse Cuba? No idea. I think it was 2017. 20, we're not there yet. Oh, no. 20, wait. No, she is. We're, oh, oh, okay. We're on one. Yeah. You think it's, wait. I think it's his first year. I mean, he, he Okay. I mean, yeah, you win in 2016, okay, but you don't become the president until 2017, right? Right. Yeah. General, I think okay. it was 2017. Okay. Yeah, it was 20 year immediately. Yeah. So, what was the second nation? Okay, question. For Canada, I assume. I think that might be true. What was it? Canada? That sounds about right. Canada. I don't know. I think that might be true. I've only read the Wikipedia page a few times. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I listened to all the interviews and read uh, the article in Skeptic. Ooh, something noisy. Okay, which one over. has not? Number been. three, I think, is F, subliminal images. Yeah, that sounds right. I and I think uh, number four is also F, uh, brain damage, because I think oh, no, one they've of got the brain things. Damage. Yeah, I remember brain <laughs> damage being one. I think they haven't actually found any physical evidence. Well, so they speculated blamed. What which of the falling symptoms have not been officially blamed? Well, brain damage you can tell just by right. And that's MRI, why right? okay. I don't know what this amnesia oh, business is. I think it might be amnesia. not remembering certain things. Yeah, but I, Am, anterior grade amnesia. No, that. Would Robin oh, make that up? Probably but a different the reason, type of amnesia. The only I reason I answer. think that it might be uh, brain damage is that, as far as I know, they've not really found any. That would be physical evidence. evidence and they yeah. don't have physical evidence. Because they could be attributing it to a previous injury no, or I'm not sure. No, 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 nothing. They couldn't I'm find not it. sure what officially blamed on the attacks means. Which of the following symptoms have not been officially blamed? Like people have said, oh, they must have brain damage. But I think there's no evidence for actual brain damage, which you could see. So, so the victims, the victims can say they think they have brain damage. They right. some tests on brain. get tested and they don't have brain damage. So. They, but they haven't. I don't think they found anything that that could officially be attributed to it. Um, that's my argument. But uh, <laughs> I've been reading five and six together 
And I think the National Academy of Sciences validated the attack. Yeah. And that the JAMA article did not and left concluding that. Um, no, JAMA has said that it's it's um, alluded to it being an attack because that's what we're having problems on Wikipedia. Is they want to add the attack part in there because JAMA says so. Oh, okay. Or the so National the Academy. So I'm trying to JAMA. separate the difference between what JAMA said and the National Academy. I'm pretty uh, can sure. Can someone the tell National me what JAMA is? Journal, Journal of I mean, the American JAMA. Medical Association. Oh, I know okay. Yeah, has okay. It. Yeah, that's not very scientific, is it? Yes, it is. You sure? One of the better. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're having problems on Wikipedia because JAMA endorsed it. As well as the National Academy. I, you know, I don't know about the National Academy. Oh, I, the I National Academy sure is the one I remember. Be okay, so true. So, I'm pretty sure one of these did not. I was thinking Otherwise, that still be an issue. one didn't. But if if JAMA did. I know they did. Okay. So no, we can be attacked. 2019. So is that true or false? Well, I'm trying to read it. Uh, concluding that. So that would be false, concluding that a psychogenic or psychosomatic cause are likely to explain the majority of these reports. Okay, so that false. 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 So five is going to be false. And six so, is, six is false. Let's see. Oh wait, how did they? How he worded it? Let me go back and read. Okay, National Academy is true. So that says that both scientific journals, um, which is why we're having so much problem. Both of them did. I was. I don't thinking, know about the. I don't know about the second one. I, I was. I I knew the National Academy has, and I was thinking JAMA didn't. But okay, seven. Okay, seven. Oh, that's Look crickets. <laughs> yeah, B is crickets. And eight. Name the law. Helping American victims afflicted by. N A. Uh, could A be attack? Neurological attack? Let's see. Find It's called the Havana Act. So H A B A N A. I think I, I like the A at the end being attack. Right. Neurological. I'm fine with that. Because it's all, all of their saying is it is brain related, right? Yeah. Sleep and all that. Well, the victims are, I guess. Okay, number nine. That's Robert Bartholomew. Yeah, he mentioned the guy's name in 10. Yeah. I don't think he realized he did that. Okay, and then what is the full title of the book? I haven't read it. Let me see. Uh, let's see. I think it's A. Yeah, number one, I'd go with that. C, definitely not. D, definitely not. E, definitely not. A? Yeah, that seems yes. to be the yeah, most Yeah, I likely. think it's A. I mean, you don't sell how, an awful lot of books if you uh, well, I've looked this, at buying this half of the people that could buy the book. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no bonus. So, <laughs> that speeds it up a little bit. So we think it's Canada for the second place, right? Yeah, I'm trying to think. And we're saying 2017 for the year? Or 16? 17, right? 
first well, year Trump. He was he was president from 2017 to 2020, right? Yeah. I didn't think it was his first year. I thought it was later. I'm just a guest here. So but I'm okay, just so, I'm so just five and five and six make sense if you say that five is false mm -hmm. and six is true because that means the two more journals. more research. Yeah, but both both journals are are yeah, and there's a lot of controversy on it. Oh. I know the I know the National Academy had had gone along with the syndrome, but I thought JAMA didn't, but we're putting both journals as going along with with uh, my my the understanding is, is there's one uh group of doctors that their their group doesn't do any research but they just opinion about things so you know they say eating fat is bad for you and of course eating fat isn't bad for you uh, eating chips and other kinds of things like that is bad for you or a whole lot of sugar is bad for you but I can't remember the name of that group because, you know, I'm not American, so. It's well, not know, related. I know it's JAMA because we've had nothing but problems getting the Wikipedia page, the beginning of the Wikipedia page lead changed because the argument was JAMA's endorsing it. JAMA's a, a you know, huge, right? what they say goes kind of thing. Yeah, but just because you're a doctor does not mean you're a re researcher and your opinion Jam doesn't count Jamis, unless you do the research. <laughs> Jamis a legitimate medical journal. It's a big thing, yeah. It's a big thing. Okay. I was just thinking that one of them didn't, but you know, it might have been one of the European someplace. I may be completely wrong. So we done? So, but if you're focused on JAMA, then I'm I'm good with that. So. Room three is already back. They were back last time. Gosh, what the heck are they doing? They think it's a record? Let me see. How did they do last time? Oh, they got 10 last time. So okay, ready to go back? Sure. Good sure. job, you guys. And I was gonna wait until june because we were going to go on this cruise and now we're not mm -hmm. so i might i might i don't know I haven't, I haven't really decided yeah we can't really go to the baltic <laughs> i'm going i'm going to estonia next month so hopefully really okay. yeah. it, would, yeah. it would be very interesting if ukraine convinces all the old uh a Warsaw, a Warsaw Pact to join them in defeating Russia. <laughs> Can you imagine oh, what would happen to Russia? They're doing really bad. They said right now, the Ukraine, uh, Ukraine and Russia have almost about the same amount of soldiers. That's well, yeah, but Russia's using, you know, uh, weapons of mass destruction, right? Oh. And... Uh, you know, I, if I was Ukraine, I'd start hitting Russia. What the fuck, you know? I know, for real. Yeah. What the fuck is but what then I Fit for chat, they, you asshole. Although they will lose yeah. the moral high ground. Not only I think that. Part but... of what Ukraine is counting on is the Russian people to turn on Putin. So if they started, if Ukraine starts attacking Russia. Uh, that's well, U over. Ukraine has oh. attacked Russia. Like they took out some oil they, they, they or something like, or other. Like, Decent countries do. They've had military targets. Are, are they attacking any of the troops that are on the Russian side? They sunk a ship today. Well, that was in the international waters, isn't it? They they damaged the ship. <laughs> no, it that sunk. Later they sunk. sunk it. I thought. It sunk. They towed it. Yeah. And it sunk. <laughs> but it still sunk. Yeah. No, yeah. okay. Let me correct the record. They did not sink it. The ship was promoted to submarine. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> and the official, the, the official Russian story is the ship caught fire and later sunk. They uh -huh. neglect to mention that it was a, a, a Ukrainian anti-ship missile that caused it to catch fire. Have they for sure about that? I just heard that they said that they're not sure if it was ineptitude by the Russians. It was an iceberg. Oh. <laughs> in the Black Sea, yeah. Uh -huh. The weight of plausibility is that an anti-ship missile damaged. It. So, so do ships uh, nowadays? Uh, are their weapons? Do their weapons not explode if if a missile goes through them? Or, I mean, you know, in the olden days, if you hit a uh, uh, a galleon in the right spot, the whole thing blew up. No, they're oh, much yeah, absolutely. Ships will still explode. Yeah, yeah, they can definitely uh, the right place. I've been saying, so, so the Ukrainians just not know the right place, or <laughs> they, might well, they, they did. It's just it's very hard to hit because it's a very obvious yeah, small area. Okay, protect small right. area, the interior of the Everybody's ship. Everybody's back. It was very, it, it, it was, it in was the center of the ship and damage everything. that the entire crew was evacuated off. That's more than just a little bit of damage. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah no. As soon as the entire crew is off, your ship is. It's done for, even if it's still floating. Yeah, and the fact that it was so barely seaworthy that attempting to tow it home caused it to sink. I mean, if you've got a ship on fire and you don't have damage control on board, it's it's done for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Ready. Uh, I'm ready. Yeah. I ready. Okay, so um, I didn't hop around. I was mostly in one room. Uh, Why is that? Um, they did reasonably well. Um, Why did you stay in one room? Well, because when I've done this before, it's kind of disjointed. So then like people talking about the same question, you already heard them talking about. And this way I got to hear it like all the way through. So I thought that was an interesting way to do it. I could see that. Uh, but by the way, I was in the wrong room when I hit back. So when the next round starts, you're going to have to place okay. me in the right place again, Susan. Okay. So uh, number one, um, when did this happen? And uh, people I was listening to thought it was much later. Uh, it was 2017. Oh. <sighs> Well done, T. Good job, Isabel. Uh, yeah. So the and, and then basically it was claimed that it was retroactive to the previous year. So just when oh we got that right. The claims were that it started in October 2016, uh, and you know just as Trump got elected, he was the one who announced it that it was Cuba. I know it was Cuba, and and there was no test or anything yet. He just knew it was Cuba. Uh, the the country that was the second to claim it was Canada. Oh, PC I had business. no idea. Good job, team. Yeah, their, their hey. embassy, you know, their embassy staff hung out together, and you know they knew what right. was going on right. in the U.S. embassy. And uh, yeah, uh, number three, which of the following has not been officially hypothesized as causes? So, by the way, actually, I had somebody write me and say they knew it was too much carbon dioxide in the area. Uh, and then someone else wrote me and said it was chemtrails. So that's why I, <laughs> I said officially hypothesized. So, got it. So Aliens did it. Uh, but I made up the subliminal images. It's all right. aliens. We got it. Did you put it in the chat, Rob? Yay, no, I'm going to put all the answers we in. We got a whole end. point. Yeah, we got a point. We Man, <laughs> ultrasound is so bananas. An idea. Number four. Okay, which of the many, many, many symptoms has not been officially blamed on the attacks? Uh, and all of those have, except for the amnesia. I made that up. Woo! Dang it. That's what I thought. But just what, what I ladder. What ladder, Rob? That was E, <laughs> as an elephant. E? Anterior grade, which, by the way, I had never heard that term, but uh, I looked up what amnesia was, and there's two types retrograde and anterior grade. Anterior grade means uh, memories going forward can't be kept. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, true or false? Uh, so no, the team I heard got this totally wrong. The, the problem with this is that this is all shoddy science. JAMA screwed it up. They did not say psychogenetic or psychosomatic causes are likely to explain the majority. They said, in fact, a wholly psychogenic or psychosomatic cause was very unlikely. It, I, re I reasoned that one out by saying if, if that had been true, there wouldn't be so much trouble keeping psychogenic on the Wikipedia page. Very good. Very good. Exactly. And then it was made worse by the next one. The National Academy of Sciences did not say an unknown directed acoustic weapon. There's the most plausible mechanism to explain these cases. 
uh, the team I was listening to guessed that correctly. And they said, oh, they wouldn't say something stupid. But they said a directed pulsed radio frequency energy appears to be the most plausible mechanism in explaining these cases, even though a bunch of scientists with that field already said, no, this is nonsense. So the answers are false. False, it's false. True? Both of those are false. Five and six are false. Yeah. Oh, you got one of them right. Well, then we've misread the question. Yeah, it was weird. Because we knew both of them were, were coming out with wrong information, but the, trying to figure out true or false was. Yeah, the second, the second one was wrong for the wrong reason. Yeah, the wrong, wrong information. Yeah, and it wasn't kind of random because by 2020, the acoustic weapon theory had gone totally to shit. You know, nobody was saying it was acoustic, even though that's what it started with for three years. Mm -hmm. Then they had moved on to trying to find other reasons. And that's when they came up with, oh, no, it's something like pulsed frequency radio waves, even though, of course, that would make no sound in your ear. And all of the initial claims were that there were sounds. Right. There. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's what a mess this is. Number seven. Um, so the scientists analyzed the recordings and what did they find uh, it was? Crickets. Yeah, it was crickets. Yeah, me. <laughs> So literally listening for evidence, there was just crickets chirping. And, and, and in fact, here is the uh, title of the book and you can see the uh, nice cricket on it. Yep, that's what they did. Listen, if you hear this sound reported any kind of illness you have any time after that, okay. The sound of crickets. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, number eight. So uh, instead of doing an about face and writing the ship of state on this, uh, Biden went along with the Trump administration and signed the bill uh, called the Havana Act. And it stands for helping American victims afflicted by neurological attacks. All right. Putting Woo! into law job, that there were neurological attacks on American citizens. Very disappointing. Uh, number nine, as you uh, saw, I goofed. I actually put the author's name in the next one. So that was yeah, a good yeah. name, Robert no, I already knew that one. <laughs> we should only get points if you get the first name right. Yeah. We got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> okay. And lastly, what is the full title of his book? So uh, what did people say here? I wanna, I'm a. curious. B. A. You just showed it to us. Well, I don't know. Well, I wonder what people said, though. Show it, it again because well, my your, your, your article with E. That well, okay. So um, the Philadelphia Association of Critical Thinking, where I interviewed Bartholomew, named the talk "Tilting at Windmills." Uh, That's where that it. one came from. The first one was a an expression he writes about in the book that this is a story of political oh, blunders. No. Science of gold, but that no. is not the title. The title is B. Okay. Mass psychogenic it's illness and the real story behind the embassy mystery and hysteria. Yeah, and I, I wish he had named it C. So me too. I like that. Good <laughs> I liked it. And that's it. Hope you like that. Very good. We got a we got good a good one, Rob. Head. Thanks, Rob. Right. Are you going to post the answers? I will post the answers right now. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't know that about Canada. Those can uh, yeah. Yeah, they sent their embassy home. They, they sent the embassy staff home and everything. Well, What'd that makes say? sense because they hang out with the Americans. Say, Kevin? Yeah. I went from Canada. We switched it to China. I know. Yeah. I, I was hurting when I was listening to you say that. It's like, Ooh, uh, yeah, no. You talked yourself out of it. Yeah, yeah. I did. I said I didn't think Canada had an embassy in there. Yeah. What? And he said Canada within like two seconds of us asking the question. He's yeah, just, Kevin jumped right out there. Said, oh, you got this one. And then said, no, no, no. It's probably China. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> okay, here we go. So let's go with, um, we're not retreating. We're advancing in the opposite direction. Eight. Mm -hmm. I gave you Gail and Karen, see? All right. Number one, comrade, you sunk my battleship. Six. Ooh. Okay. Let's go with in Soviet Russia, warship sink self. Six. <laughs> One more six will be devilish. And can brown eggs be made <laughs> into Easter eggs? Seven. Oh. oh. Ooh, a depth versus herd. Nine. Ooh. You guys are not getting a new player. <laughs> we get an old player. <laughs> we, we need a player. player. Great grandma, who's one hundred and sixteen. 
when she shows up, you can uh, have her. Seven point awesome. two. Good job, Rob. Let's take a photo. Everybody, shine your shine up. Make sure your hair looks great. Your your glasses are clean. No popcorn caught between your teeth. Take my glasses. <laughs> I got popcorn caught on. And get us in mid yawn. Okay, ready? <laughs> Smile. Can I go? Let's see if I got it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, we see speed at last. Mm. Okay, five minutes. Good night, everybody. everybody. Bye. Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Hi. Hi, Abby. Jeez. Hello, Vincent. It was like, you know, only Two a few minutes passing in the night. Hey, uh, uh, Larry. Hi. I was in book club, so. Oh, what do you guys do this week? Um, there was uh, Man. His last name was Man. And he was talking about uh, environment. I didn't read the book. So. <laughs> but, uh, Michael Mann? But you showed up? Yeah, I think it was Michael Mann. Some oh, little unknown science? person like Michael Mann? Yeah. Is it and climate science? Was climate science. And I never heard of the guy. Yeah, that, that would be Michael Mann. Yeah, I'm posting the picture on Facebook so you guys be sure to tag yourselves. How we're like uh, pretty much doomed. And no, it wasn't that bad. He I, I know, he, happen, he's, so. he's very much not that. He's yeah. very much, we can, we can still do something about this. Yes, yeah, yeah. I was interviewing him for the skeptic zone <clears throat> in the corridor at SciCon. And uh, he's the only one I interviewed that it didn't make it to the show because Barry Carr came by after I'd asked one question, said, I need him right now. <laughs> they walked away and that was it yeah one question of them. okay so five minutes keep in mind we're still being recorded so, so, we don't want everybody to say, up. so we don't want to say anything incriminating well, especially about susan <laughs> no. well, if i fart again will you hear it uh, oh jeez! <laughs> I don't think I didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> as long as you can't smell it, Kevin, we're fine. Yeah. You have the smell o vision uh, <laughs> add-on to your Zoom. The Zoom? No, we didn't pay for that. Uh, I for some fart jokes. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite uh, fart joke is the elevator one. I farted and I can't get out. I haven't heard that one before. You've never heard that one before? No. no. Yeah. I still haven't. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's a picture, actually, a meme before the internet. And uh, someone drew a cartoon, and uh, the guy is like having a tough time, and you see the smoke woof, and he's like trying to open the elevator, and the caption is, "Help! I farted and I can't get out." So you you realize, of course, that the term meme <laughs> has nothing to do with pictures and words on it that's simply not what the word means i will disagree oh. with you well <laughs> you can disagree all you I want know, but the, I will disagree. But the, I will disagree. the original <laughs> meaning so this is one of the few cases where, where the word was coined quite deliberately quite recently and the person that coined it is still around is that yes. richard Dawkins? Yeah. Yes. It yes. Is and remember, once a word is coined, the name, the, the meaning of that word remains in stone and never changes ever mm -hmm. at all, ever. For, that's for how ever. it is with language. For, Every word forever. means exactly And we the never same add new words to the dictionary ever. And we never change meanings. Literally, that never happens. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it would literally destroy the language. <laughs> <laughs> it would be literally the worst thing to ever happen to the English language. Okay, literally, literally stop it. <laughs> Are you guys literally just messing up my five-minute break here? 
Figuratively, right, well, we're messing it up. There not you go. Thank figuratively. you. Thank you. Isn't Thank it you. ironic? Oh, <laughs> I had to. I had to. Literally. Oh, ouch. So uh, I'm curious to know what team I'm going to be put on. Uh, are you the only one that doesn't have a team right now? Uh, or did I let somebody else in? Let me think. Probably. I don't know. Are you bringing Adrian? Some team that doesn't have a Canadian on it. No. Yeah, I, 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 we get I him. Don't know. We get I don't. him. Soviet Russia team, he come here. I think he gets we, comrade. You sunk my battleship. No, no, he yeah, comes to the Russia side. We need, we need Canadian. We need you, Vincent. Isn't it nice <laughs> to be fought over? I mean, it's hey, it's nice that, yeah, it is actually. <laughs> <laughs> we need doesn't, you. Doesn't happen too often. I can tell you that. <laughs> well, we'll see <laughs> whenever we get back. All right, so we're back from our five minutes or whatever it was. Um, announcements. I am going to be doing a tour. I just did a talk with the, who did I just do a tour with? New Mexicans for Science and Reason. And that should be up on YouTube here real soon. I will be doing a tour all over United States, sort of. And um, that'll be out pretty soon. I think that's all I got. Kyle, what do you got? I probably won't be coming to Wyoming. I don't think there's a single skeptic. In <laughs> The, just the what i've tried to get to go to michigan and to indiana because they have cfi there i thought they'd had you know money but they know they don't have any budget they don't have any they don't have um they, as far as they're concerned the pandemic is still happening or something i don't know what their thing is but i was disappointed but anyway so i'm going to be a member of the group in flint and it it they don't have any money they just meet in a restaurant and well, talk. that's it they don't have a speaker who's coming you find a way of making it happen. That's what happens whenever you come to Monterey. We would just find a way of making it happen. Once in a once in a blue moon. All right, Kyle, are you? Hey, back? hey indeed Kyle, I am. What's, what's new on Data Skeptic this week? Well, this week on Data Skeptic, I have good news. If you're interested in clustering and quantum algorithms, I have the episode for you. Oh my gosh, both together at once. That's right. And the world didn't implode. Like peanut butter and jelly. Uh, this week, we get into how quantum algorithms can be used to improve upon this classical result that uh, lots of people use to cluster data together. And that's this a, week a, on Data Skeptic. A truly fascinating episode. Thank you. Anybody got anything else that we need to know? Announcement wise? Yeah, you got an announcement. Uh, I think I'm scheduled to be on a uh, podcast called True Crime. With, uh, What'd you do? <laughs> it's a long story. Uh, yeah. What'd you say, Susan? It's a long story. Yeah, it's a long story. Um, but they, it's uh, uh, Sean Atwood. He's out of the UK. He's got like 685,000 subscribers or something. So it's going to, and I think it's on Zoom too. So I'm glad I got a little practice here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So when, but, it, uh, it's a when big, it comes out, let, give, make sure you give us the um, URL. Yeah, um, I, I did a screening interview last week for it, and uh, they said, for sure, we want you on. It's uh, They do the first two hours on YouTube, and then the second two hours on, is on his Patreon. So, uh, yeah, it should be a good, it should be a good, uh, a good interview, a good episode. Right. So now you have to practice on YouTube. So, I mean, on Zoom. So you got to get a little sprout like Avi did and put it on your head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It'll yep. be fun. Uh, yeah. Let me know when it is and I'll definitely announce it. Anything else we, we have to get through, guys? Are we ready to go? <laughs> Kyle must be up. I mean, Carl, <laughs> Carl must be up next because he's, he's moved his chair. <laughs> and, you know, that's always a sign. That Carl's about to <coughs> do his thing here. Carl's about to lay down some funky jams. Something that has to do with TV. TV. Carl, you up? Where'd Carl go? He's at the top of my screen. I don't know. But he's muted. Here he is. But he knows how to unmute. TV series mystery theme number two. This is a the second mystery. Somebody's got around. a lot of sound somewhere. Hold on, Carl. What? 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 <laughs> Muting everybody now. 
<laughs> Everyone's good to go. Number one. 1978 to 86 TV series featuring the misadventures of a wealthy white Manhattan man and his daughter Carl who adopt the children of Can his late background African. noise. Is it just me? Like what? I don't hear any it's background true. noise, Rob. No, I don't, I don't hear any background noise. Here. Okay, thank you. you. Got Havana targeted. Something on my computer must be playing. I'm being crickets. hit. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Rob. It's Carl, a big sorry. gun behind your head, Rob. <laughs> 78 to 86 TV series featuring the misadventures of a wealthy white Manhattan man and his daughter who adopt the children of his late African-American housekeeper from Harlem. Number two. 1969 to 74 TV series. In 1966, following the success of his TV show, Gilligan's Island, Sherwood Schwartz conceived the idea for this show after reading in the LA Times that 3% of marriages in the US have a child or children from a previous marriage. Number three, 1979 to 88 TV series where the household, the house mother and dietitian at the Eastland School for Girls teaches a group of girls in her charge how to solve those problems that every teenager has to face. Number four, 1978 to 82 TV series, where a wacky alien comes to earth to study its residents and the life of the human woman he boards is never the same. Indirect spinoff of Love American Style. Number five. 1984 to 92 TV series featuring the goings on in the life of a successful upper middle class African American family. And that, I'm tempted to give it a little extra help on that one. Hands up anyone who thinks that I don't need to give a little tiny extra help on that last one. Okay, no help. Number five. Oh no, number six. Copy. Number six. 1997 to 2003 TV series where a young woman destined to slay various nefarious creatures deals with her life fighting evil with the help of her friends. Number seven. Ah, damn it. Copy. Sorry about that. Seven. 1982 to 89 TV series that chronicles liberal ex hippies Stephen and Elise and their conservative, conservative son and other children. Number eight. 1989 to 98 TV series featuring the actor who played the cop in Die Hard as a father dealing with various misadventures, many of them caused by his pesky ultra nerd next door neighbor. Number nine, 1951 to 57 TV series where the wife of a band leader constantly tries to become a star in spite of her having no talent and gets herself, along with her best friend, into the funniest predicaments. And number 10, what is the theme? What do oh. these nine shows have in common? Be fairly specific. Okay, we've done this before, you guys. You know the drill. Caspian? Okay, so Rob, I need to change you, right? Let's... Sorry, I got to be put back in. It looks like Kyle and Vincent are not in rooms yet. Yeah, yeah I mean, Rob is in the uh, wrong room. Sorry. Rob goes to two. Kyle, you're in one. Comrade. 
And Vincent's going to go to, where did I say I was putting him? Uh-oh. Should I be scared? Well, let me see. I was going to see who has, I because some people had left. I wanted to see who left. Hold on a second. Uh. Three, but three is kicking ass. I'm not putting you with them. Four has one, two, three, four. Five. I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you in four. Then I'm here to complain and beg for you, so. <laughs> Have fun. Kevin, you around? Well, I'm on the team that's been kicking ass, huh? Five, five is the Cosby Show. Yeah. Six is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. Seven is that show with uh, Michael J. Fox on it. Yeah. Well, what that's what I wrote called? down, too. Yeah, but and what was that called? It was like one <laughs> the only those... one I knew. That I don't know. Something family or... I'll be muted, by the way. What do you have for one, two, and three? I came here late. We're, we got them all. We're, we're, um, well, tell me what they are. So one is one is different strokes. Two is the Brady Bunch. Three is the Facts of Life. Four is Mork and Mindy. Five is the Cosby Show. Six, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Seven is... I can't remember the name of the show with Michael. The Michael J. Fox. He, he, yeah, he was like the the total like he so was we'll eventually. Suit. Eight is Family Matters. Reginald Vol Johnson, the cop from uh, Die Hard and Urkel. I love Lucy. Nine is I Love Lucy. Yeah. What they have in common is. Would you say three was different strokes? No. Back to three life. Is back back to life. life. Gosh, I, I, this is something uh, I haven't seen before. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh... so could it be like a producer or something like that or a um, writer or from Lucy I love Lucy all the way up to yeah that's true I mean it's possible didn't um didn't what's his name they played her husband have like a like a a production company or something. Desi Arnaz, uh, Des yeah. Mm -hmm. Desi Arnaz. Yeah. 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 But I don't think it lasted that long. Uh, I have to go I up into know. Cosby or Buffy. I mean, a lot of a lot of them have like problematic people associated with them, like Cosby <laughs> Show, and Bill Cosby. <laughs> I don't know if anyone like from the Michael J. Fox show had anything. Uh, Let's see. I never watched it, but I know what the show is. Isn't it something the family or no? It's something like it's it's one of those like the family. We're a family together or growing something. It's not growing pains. That was the Alan Thick one. Um, yeah, what was the name of that? Oh, I mean, I'll get it eventually, but well, maybe yeah. with the theme we'll figure it out. Um, Could it be mixed families? No, that wouldn't fit with Lucy. No, um, no it's because his his last one was they all had a character switched out. So it's something very specific. Um, and they're all popular sitcoms. Did they add in a character? I I mean, Buffy did. They had, you know, the solid cast and then they brought in like Angel. Um, I love Lucy well, that, brought in. That was kind of his. Hmm? I love Lucy didn't really bring in anyone. Yeah, that, did baby. They? She got pregnant they and they didn't... brought the baby in. I guess they all had a, like a baby come in. Yeah. Yeah, they all had babies. Did Mark and Mindy have a baby? Oh, yeah. That was what? It really? was Jonathan Winters. Jonathan yeah. Winters, yeah. And he, he came in, he started and old and got Winters. younger all, at, all the way You're through. You're kidding. Yeah. They had sex? No, it was a. No, it was an egg. Yeah, he laid an oh. egg. I, we don't know how it fertilized, but yeah, okay. and their species it came out mature and then got younger and younger. Well, uh, Brady Bunch didn't have a baby, point. right? Although, I don't know, did different strokes ever add someone? I never saw it. I never saw it. 
different strokes. Buffy right. didn't have a child. They added there were new boy. characters added, but there wasn't yeah. there wasn't a baby. Yeah. Um, I don't know. But I like the idea of somebody being added. What's the name of that? Damn. But that's true for any old, you know, series that's been around a while. Hmm. Oh, what's the name of that damn? I know, right? I only I actually Fox. watched it once or twice back in. Back oh, I know. We used to watch it. Um, Uh, I can see the living room too. I can see Michael J. Fox in his conservative clothes. I thought it had the word family in the title, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It, it's something family or family, a family, family ties, family, family ties. ties, family ties. Family yeah, ties. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's my contribution for the night. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, so. It's a good one. So what is the theme? When they all added kids on at some point, I guess. Buffy didn't add a kid. It, well, but they added her sister on. Yeah, they did. They added a kid. They added a sister. Um, did they, uh, Lucy added Brady a child. they bring in Cousin Oliver? I think yeah. you're right. I think there was a child added. I think C Cousin Oliver was in Brady Bunch. Mork and Mindy. Cosmo Show added Mindy. a grandchild or something, didn't they? Yeah, they had like Raven Simone was added as like a cousin or something. Yeah. That's, that must be the theme. A child, a child was added. Family ties, family matters. They bring in family matters. I love Lucy. Oh, he Dan. says it's not the same thing as last week. Well, no. Well, that was what that was where they switched a character. This is a child was added, right? They all had more had better ratings than the most popular show on TV today. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a child was added. I think that's specific, and I think that makes sense because. Excellent. They probably had better writing than most of the TV shows today, too. Uh, I think T you know, I think we are in kind of a TV is much better than it was a long time ago, but well, I, well, yeah, I, I don't it know. Feels, it feels it's like it's they're more... trying too hard, I think. Not that mm -hmm. I watch a lot of TV, but it just feels like they're they're trying. We got it, Carl. Just what what's the theme? A child was added. He's not saying anything. <laughs> so uh, we shouldn't have told you. Well, I can tell you at least one team has the correct theme. Well, we know our at team least. Has, has the correct theme. And that's us, of course. And we've got all, it's another 10. <laughs> you guys rock. I can't Nine. talk you out of any of these answers. Nine is nothing to sneeze at. I can tell you so far, only one team has the correct theme. Mm -hmm. Well, also, it's us. Some teams think they have the right theme, but they're wrong. No, right. Because it makes total sense. Yeah, back to the drawing board. Uh, no, he's, he's messing with us. All right, so you guys are all done, so I won't bother coming back here until I'm ready to close rooms. Well, you aren't you ready to close rooms? Probably in about a minute, I'm going to click the minute. Everybody's pretty much trying to figure out the theme. So he's, you think we're. Okay, he's gone. Should we, should we stay with that or are we confident? I think, I think we have to stay moment. with it, stick with it because I can't think of anything else. I mean, you got I Love Lucy and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What could they possibly have in common?
I mean, I, I know like so a lot of them had like one of their child actors died, but I don't really, but some didn't. A child was added in each of these cases. I think he's just messing with like it. Everyone from I Love Lucy is dead. Did, did Different Strokes? I didn't watch it. Did they I have a child added? From, what? Was a child added in Different Strokes? I've never seen it. I don't remember there being one, but there could have been in a later season. Family Ties? Was there? Family Ties, I think, I'm pretty sure they had another kid. Okay, and then Family Matters. Yeah, she yeah, I didn't watch it enough to... Pregnant, yeah. Yeah, she had a baby, yeah. And yeah, so this, it fits, so we'll argue that's the, that's the answer, even if it isn't the answer. Someone had a baby. I don't remember anyone having a baby. But, or know. some a child was added, because in Buffy's case, they added a sister. Was a sister already like grown up? She was a teenager. Oh. She was a child. She didn't grow up. It was imagine it was uh they found no, it, we got it at was least a young person was added to the cast. Yeah, a child or or some some young person was added to the cast. A young person was added to the cast. Yeah. Okay, so we'll change it to a young person. Including, so yeah, because Jonathan Winters, he was young. He was technically young. He was just hatched right away. He just, yeah. he, yeah, they, just they, hatched developed, they developed in reverse. Yeah. So he was like a big baby. He was hysterical. It was, it was, it was hilarious. Winters, Winters was amazing. I, yeah, he was great. I love Jonathan Winters. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Okay. Let's go. Look at that. We'll go back. I didn't do anything. But if we do that, then Carl won't be in the right yeah, room. Yeah, yeah no, but he, you didn't do any damage either, Susan. You guys look too confident. It's only when I can talk you out of things. You know, I've got my moments. Sometimes I'm actually okay. Hey, it's our team again. So Deborah, why are you in this? Like, it looks like a, I don't know, Edgar Allan Poe thing or something, you know? You're muted. I forget, I always forget that I'm muted. I, you know, just going for the dramatic lighting, that's all. You sure look it like, like, it looks like, it looks like, it looks like, yeah, like somebody's gonna come out of the background with a, ah, 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 or. You're, you're, you're on a camping trip or something. Yeah, in my, with in with my your room. lantern hanging over there. Off the side. <laughs> I usually sit in the kitchen, but um, my son's out tonight, and I don't have to disconnect from the power and replug in the computer on the kitchen table if I do it from here. So nice. So Deborah, you're going to be busy on Easter, right? I am. But I, I appreciate the, the invitation. I maybe I'll do something the following week or something. I don't know. No. Caspian's birthday's Thursday, so I Oh. Yeah, but we never do anything special for birthdays. It's never been You could start. I don't know. During the pandemic. <laughs> I don't know. Brian Hart and, and uh, his wife Karen are supposedly up in Santa Cruz area with their dog. Right. Did you just and, say supposedly? Uh, she did. She well, always she, says she that. She said she's coming. They're coming up to our area, and then they asked if we wanted to go to a party in Santa Cruz, and that's not where we live. We live in Salinas, so I'm not exactly sure where they're going. I clicked the button uh, uh, prematurely, Carl. I didn't mean to come back, and we were still figuring out the last one. Damn it. Oh well, too bad. Uh, okay. Too bad. Uh, well, you got you had twenty one seconds left, but <laughs> yeah, guess... we were saying, what should we put down for that? And then I I click well, the screen. Well, once they, they come back, we can open the rooms back up, I guess. Yeah, no, give us one more. Oh, else they right. probably already got the answer. Well, we'll we'll, we'll ask if they put something down. Yeah, Carl. Once oh. again, you've screwed your own team with your two hard questions. 
Yeah, we just gave up. Hey, Susan, mm -hmm. I, I was going to tell you about Carrie. Hey, Bob, uh, wait, Bob, hold on a minute, please. Uh, so my team, I, I bounced myself out accidentally. Do we need time to, to get the last answer? Carl said he'd give us a minute if we need it. Or did you guys put something Unless down? you have a suggestion, we don't have anything there, Rob. <laughs> Just text so, it to him, Rob. Well, I made a suggestion. Uh, can I chat with you? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Throw go ahead, it Bob. To the the chat. chat to just uh, yeah, just send a chat. What was it you're going to say, just Bob? Do a chat to just Rob. Oh well, she's uh, she's getting um, internet is in into her apartment because her phone. She thinks it's the building because the internet on her phone doesn't work in her building. So she's having internet installed and she's gonna come back. She oh good. She's had a rough couple of weeks. I, I don't want to go into detail, but uh, yeah. She told was, me. Oh, did she? Okay. Well, a little bit. Enough that I have yeah, well, I have an another, inkling I can fill in the blanks. Yeah, there was another crisis today from work, and she she says it was as close as she came to walking out because <laughs> management is just obnoxious. So well, yeah. as long as she comes back to us eventually, that's fine. Yeah, she really does enjoy it. But and oh, she good. was very frustrated last time when she couldn't, you know, the internet wouldn't work well. We're forcing enough. her to get her, her <laughs> all that in, in order. Good job, everybody. Um, go for it. Okay. I think there's a lot of eights and nines, and at least one ten. Number one, different strokes. Number two, was the Brady Bunch. She was a Brady Bunch. Number three, <coughs> the facts of life. Number four is Mork and Mindy. Yay! Nanu, nanu. What's the connection Five. to that other show? Because because my recollection happy, was, was happy days was happy a, days. Happy days came from American. Yeah, happy days was, was a skit on Love American Style. Which oh, was on his own show. okay. And then happy days spun off Work and Mindy. There we go. Okay. Five is the Cosby Show. Six is Buffy. Didn't copy. Empire is clear. Copy. I don't, I don't remember. Buffy the Vampire Mark Slayer. And, I don't remember Mork and Mindy being a spinoff of Happy Days. What was the connection there? Mork was a back here. Mork was in an episode. Mork appeared to the Fonz. Yeah. Oh. He oh, froze Fonz. Turned out to be a dream. Seven, Family Tie. You guys are so knowledgeable. I know none of this stuff. <laughs> All real important stuff, eight. too. Family Matter. <laughs> like everybody. Easily got I Love Lucy. Yeah. Now, the theme. We changed our theme, Carl, after you left. You better not have. We did. <laughs> <laughs> so, in season one, of, in season six of Different Strokes, they added Danny Cooksey as Sam McKinney, a new kid being added. Mm -hmm. In the Brady Bunch, in the very last season, the famous ad, for which Oliver. the trope is named... They added oh, Cousin okay. Oliver. Oh, yeah. man. In The Facts of Life, in season seven, they added Aston McKenzie, Andy Moffat. What about Mork and Mindy? Well, in the last season, they added Jonathan Winters to play their oh. kid, Mirth. Yeah, Jonathan. And so on and so forth. All these shows are shows where several seasons in, they introduced a new kid to the show. Usually, but not always, in an attempt to keep a declining show from falling apart <laughs> so specifically it was a new kid not just a new character a new kid yeah. has to be a new kid we put a young person because we first a young person we, young we first person put baby kid, and then we decided we better not put so baby. who was the new kid in uh, i love lucy i love lucy it was the baby little, little ricky baby. ricardo and that's him ready. and that's him in my photo yeah, yeah that's yeah. right oh he weren't he wasn't asking he was <laughs> well, they didn't put Luke, they self promotion. Yes, you correct, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So I like that, our team went opposites. <laughs> but, but Carl, what about the fact that you had a huge crush on one of the leading people in all of these series? What about that? <laughs> mm, that didn't happen. Were, were the posters of all of these up in his room? That's yeah. it. <laughs> all right, the, old tackled, and I. They all tackled, they had very groundbreaking first episodes that, that tackled very important issues that weren't comedy related. Mm -hmm. You know I what I mean? Every, every show had a, on that list. I couldn't come up with the Buffy Bill on, on that because I don't know that show. You don't know Buffy? Oh man! No, I don't watch it. Binge watch. I, I love and, Lucy and Lucy Carl. They Lucy. made the changes to the show because they were trying to destroy the show. Not to <laughs> don't be silly. Yeah. But they also it all had everything something to do. You know, with something that wasn't comedy, but there was a very serious issue, and they did it first. Like when the Different Strokes did the episode about child abuse. You know what I mean? Uh, what was the serious oh. thing on Mark and Mindy? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, <laughs> so that's why I have I'm not right. A very special episode. Right. I have a question, Carl. Yes. So they most of the time the the series was falling failing, and so they added a young person to it. Did it work? Usually uh, not. But uh, uh, once in a blue moon. Did it? Did it sneak out like one more season or something, and that was it? Yeah, or, most most of them. It was pretty much close to the end. But then they were adding them because it was close to the end. Yeah, it's 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 mm -hmm. Brady Bunch is so famous for this. The trope is called the cousin Oliver trope. I don't even oh. remember this cousin Oliver. Wow. Yeah, it the was a blonde headed kid. You could have yeah. you could have well, done like, the Flintstones. All the kids and, are getting the little alien. Cute and adorable. That's you right. Need to add Flintstones. a cute and adorable. Oh yeah, kid. kazoo. That yeah. was kazoo. Yeah, Rob. That was the stupidest thing. Yeah. I did you consider that. um the Dick Van Dyke show did that? Didn't didn't they? They had Mary Tyler people. Moore. Yeah, they did that. They did that too. Yeah. Who that was, that was one of that did not make the final cut, but that was one of the options for this round. They what about all the red kid. shirt guys on Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, look at him. Um, he's adorable. Uh, how do I not remember this? Please, he still please looks like that. Show. We have this cute little kid. Yeah, he looks like kid. John Denver. I was going to say the example. He, he, he still looks like, like that. He looks like John Denver. The kid with the beard, yeah. that's him. Yeah. <laughs> you don't hey. remember because of the Mandrella syndrome. Yeah, I don't I'm think probable. I've ever seen an right. episode of the Brady Bunch with a cousin Oliver. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been watching. Uh, you know, a lot of people were really sad. sad. He looks like a little tiny John Denver. He does. Who was added in that show that you said was about to be, you almost, who was added in that show that you said was about to be, you almost, Mary Tyler Moore, because I don't remember anybody. Yeah, nobody was added. He said it was. Carl? Not a kid. Uh, I, I can't remember which one, if it was the Dick Van Dyke show. There was a kid added. The, well, the, yeah, Mary, the, Tyler, Mary Tyler Moore had a baby towards what? the end of the Dick Van Dyke show. No way. way. Ricky. Oh. They had Ricky. It's, it's, no, a lot of people Richie, don't remember these Richie. things because most Richie. people stopped watching these shows they before had, they got into that late of the program. How about Murphy yeah. Brown? The show was already declining. Murphy yeah, Brown had it, baby. Stop watching. Yeah. They and Fonzie had a shark to keep people watching. Yeah, Fonzie jumped the shark. But yeah, they, the, did, the, they did. They did. Vice president in, um, did not like the baby. So, Murphy for Brown. instance, it wasn't really an act of desperation for Buffy, and the show did go on for a bit after that. It's pretty successful after that. Well, she was buried, and they resurrected her. <laughs> That's true. Yep. All right. They did it in All in the Family, too. But that was for a few seasons. Yeah. Oh, they killed off Ethel, or what's her name? Edith. They did, and they or, didn't, because they brought it back for the next episode, next series of Archie Bunker's Edith? Place. She was in it. She was in Edith Archie Bunker's did. Place. She was in Archie Bunker's Place. Watch How it. She be that Archie was a clone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so here we go. She wasn't always was in a Terminator it, a for the future. Comrade, you sunk my battleship. What do you got? Oh, I think we got nine. Ooh, oh. very good. Okay. You're the lead. Stop that count. <laughs> Stop that count. All right. We're not retreating. We're advancing in the opposite direction. Nine. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's Scovia, Russia. Warship sink self. Nine. God. Nine. I'm thrilled about that, Jeff. Can brown eggs you tried really hard eggs? Eggs. We'll find the answer later. You can. We do it all Seven. the time in Rhode Island. Seven. Seven. We've been very consistent. Seven, seven, seven. All right. Depp and her jurors. Once again, the guy asking the questions kills his own team. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was on that. I was on that. Sorry. Look at that. 
29. Dang. Uh, Susan, how come you didn't help my team when you were on it? I did. Yeah. We've got seven. You helped my team too. I did help. You guys did help. I'm going to watch the video and see yeah. if that's true. She helped. It's she true. Helped. Or, 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 uh, <laughs> What was it? I think it was uh, uh, Larry saying, uh, somebody said, I didn't talk anybody out of the answers. Okay, that's helpful. Watch and, the video, and, Rob, and see if you can tell when you were talking when I farted. <laughs> and as usual, if anybody's interested, okay. I have the Word document of the round in the chat available okay. to download. You're awesome. All right, All right. So taking your powers away from you, stripping you of your powers. Where are you? There you are. He's okay, hiding. so you've been removed your permissions, and I'm giving permissions to our last score of the game before the bonus. Last regular round. Last the penultimate round. And it's Jeff Jeffrey. Hello, hello. Can we call you I Jeffrey? I'm not sure if I did this one already, but um, I'm going to do it anyway because. I don't we would have forgotten having any of these questions, which is uh, Washington State. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So That's these are all Washington. questions all right. about Washington State in the <laughs> theme of state. So in all of the state. answers, do we need to put an inappropriate R someplace to, to get it right? <laughs> uh, That's the theme. Hmm. <laughs> That's the somebody, correlation. Okay. Somebody explain to, to John why they're calling it Washington State. Susan has you, you explain it. Has a problem pronouncing in, in a normal, average manner several words, and that is one of them. <laughs> She's also secretly a pirate. She adds <laughs> <"Arr." laughs> That might be a better Arr. explanation. They, I think somebody's keeping a list of all the words I can't pronounce. I believe there's going to be a category on it someday. My, my computer didn't have enough RAM to uh, <laughs> write it to a hard, a hard drive. Um, uh, all right. You could buy a hard drive. Washington <laughs> State. Yeah, I can't say Washington State wrong. There's no R in it. He mm -hmm. wrote it that way. He wrote okay. it that way. So that's. So now it's that's correct. It. That's the question, question number one. Cass, can you mute us? All right, question number one. Washington boasts the world's largest building by volume in Everett. What is it for? And this is either you got it, you get it, or you don't. Because this is- A plus or minuses? It's pretty obvious if you know what the answer is. Okay. Uh, number two. True or false, Washington has the most area covered by glaciers in the continental US. Question number three. True or false, Pike Place Market in downtown Seattle is the US's longest continuing or continuously operating farmer's market. Question number four. What Washington landmark boasts the world's first revolving restaurant? Question number five. True or false? Uh, so Washington is generally known as the Apple State. Um, according to the annual 2021 National Agricultural Statistics Series reports, uh, Washington produces 75% by weight of all apples produced by the United States. Question number six, Starbucks headquarters is in Seattle. Which city in the US has the highest number of Starbucks? Or which, uh, which city has the highest number of Starbucks in the United States? Question number seven, uh, Washington state was formed by, uh, by the splitting off of what U.S. territory? Hint, it's the name of a current U.S. state. You spelled Washington wrong, it's got an R in it. 
fourth. Number eight, uh, Seattle is located in King County. Who is the county named after? Question number nine. True or false, Washington State is home to the largest power station in the US by nominal capacity, meaning maximum sustainable uh, production of electricity. And finally, number 10, what is the yearly football rival match called between the University of Washington and Washington State University? And there is a bonus. And this time it's a legit, I feel a legit bonus because it's probably a little more esoteric. Name the official costume mascot for either of those two universities. <laughs> All right, and that's it. Okay, then. All right. So this like it could be Bill, Bill Smith, because he's like that. Sorry, I mean the name of the character. <laughs> yeah, that character. Okay. Boy, I'm going to be a whole lot of help for everybody. Hi, team. Hi, team. You've been to Hi. Washington recently. So, Susan? yeah, I go. I can't Number one, like plane hanger. Hi. The what? A plane hanger because Boeing is there, so they have to have somewhere to store their plane. Ooh, is that one, Arca? Oh, yeah. What is it for? Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's the plane hanger, stores planes. Either that or like or a bridgeable for building planes. Yeah. Okay. True. Number two is true. true. Yeah. I'm just taking a guess. I'm guessing it would be true because that's where Glacier National Park is, right? I don't know. Uh, and I think three is true also, but I'm right, not I'm talking on mute. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. It seems like I've heard These that. Places. Uh -huh. It's true. Number um, four is the Space Needle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Space Needle, yes. Mm -hmm. and Dude, I knew that. I'm going to go with true for the Apple. Were we going to say true for everything? I'm yeah, going to say. I, think I'm good. I put true down for like all of them. I'm going to say false for that one. Why? Just to guess. Oh, <laughs> I think it's true. I think it's true. You do, do a lot of apples. Because like Florida is responsible for like that much of the yeah. orange production. Yeah, and so like. But the red, but well, lots of other parts of the what, country okay. grow apples. Uh, what, what, but our, our uh, the because there's a brand specifically called the Washington Apple, isn't there, I thought, Washington? Mm -hmm. like and are those the larger ones? Yes, 75% by weight. apples in California? By weight, Because yeah. we're talking about by weight, because like, aren't the, like the Fuji apples, like smaller? They're you know? tiny. Mm -hmm. And then the honey crisps are huge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it's probably true. Like, based a lot, on... like a really large number though, doesn't it? I'm torn though. I don't like when most of them are true, <laughs> but well, I don't want to say false just to be contradictory because that's how you come back. Stuff we can come back. Do, do they grow apples in California, Susan? I'm no, true yeah, and, uh, and California is a huge state, so but it's They're not known, known for its apple growing. Right. Washington is. Uh, I think it's true. And New this, York. Seattle. That was my guess. Was New York City has? I think it's Seattle. Problem. New York City. Maybe I don't think Seattle, Seattle. I don't think Seattle. Even Why? though it's headquartered, it does not have the most Starbucks. What's the reasoning? Uh, I think it's Seattle. <laughs> Just telling you. Well, anything New York, you're going to be competing with uh, with Duncan because Duncan is huge in the East Coast. Just to throw that out there. Yeah, there's a lot. That was countries. just. That's just. How many guess. targets does Seattle have? Because there are a ton of so, Dunkin' Donuts on the East Coast. Because there are two Starbucks located within, like, the average amount of Starbucks located in one one square mile radius is like three. Where? I'm not kidding. There's like one inside Starbucks, and then there's a standalone one in the parking lot across from that one. Where in New York? No, at the Target we go to up here. Oh, but what is that? Mm -hmm. Like. 
Um, uh, there's three Starbucks I can go to within like two mile drive from this house. <laughs> it's insane. I don't think it's Seattle though. I don't think it's Seattle. Think it's Seattle. Think it's Seattle. I but isn't think... that kind of giving the answer away? It's a trick. Well, look your question. Well, then if it's Seattle, then all the true false questions are true. Keep talking about it, and I will stare intently at Jeff to see if I can get a read on his face. <laughs> look at the glare in his glasses to see if the reflection. And Jeff, on Jeff's the gonna give you. Jeff's gonna give you. Uh, I like the way you he's frozen. Somebody girl. flick the no. camera. Jeff, Jeff is crossing his eyes. He's there. Blink <laughs> once if you're a clone. Okay. No. Nope. Um, right. Fine. <laughs> yes. Put Seattle down. Yeah. Not like we're gonna beat. I don't know. I feel like this is one of those where I'm pretty sure it's down or it's an answer and it's wrong. Okay. Yeah, this is where we have. This is we gonna talk to somebody out of something. Up, okay, seven okay. Oregon, Oregon, Oregon territory, yeah. Oregon territory. It is not it's Louisiana. Not like, okay. Uh, kind of like how Faith was saying with Oregon. Like, like, okay, who is King County named? Every down? three square miles. Elvis Presley, like Starbucks, or something. King County, like King George. Oh, someone, hold on. You're, you're. Seven, what? seven, seven, seven. hello. What was seven? Did Oregon Territory. Oregon. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Seattle's name located in King County. Well, it wasn't named after a king because Seattle was, it's settled by the Spaniards, right? I mean, the whole coast, they, Spanish and... I think it was the British, no? Because they were like. No, not, not on our coast. Area. It's it's Spanish. Yeah, like lower, uh, like California and all the, the Spaniards. But I think up all the way up there, it was the British, wasn't it? So King George? I don't think so. But then I don't know. And I'm here to talk to you about it. <laughs> Let's go. With uh, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan confirmed your Seattle answer, so. Okay, good. So they watched a YouTube video where they talked about it. Thank so you, Jordan. for Seattle. Okay, Seattle so, is located in King County. Could it be named county? after somebody whose name was King? And it wasn't a King, but it was like Elvis. Elvis oh, the King. Like Mr. King. I mean, was Elvis ever anywhere near? No, because like Arthur King. Seattle no, way it's, older than it's probably somebody really old that the dead yeah. or like an old white. Dead that dead makes more Mr. sense. Mr. King. To me. What? Mr. King. Hey, Mr. King. Yeah, that's 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 a good answer, right? I doubt it's Mrs. King. Let's go with Mr. King. Well, who could it be? Is there it somebody could named be King? A, it could be a, a female with the last name King. But no, oh, come on. Loretta King. Do you we hold on? We learned Wake County was named after a woman. Well, could it be a, a Native American group? Like the King. Is, uh, oh yeah yeah this is being recorded everyone like <laughs> <laughs> no like a native language a native uh, um native american group called the king the king tribe king, king tribe king king something no idea. so 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 because it doesn't say what it says who so it's named after a person no it could be a named after a a tribe that's a who yeah, yeah. Sure. Susan has a point. It is a point. I think it's wrong, but it, it is a point. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> pokey point. So let's. I don't know. Moving on. We okay. don't know the answer to that one. Let's go with true that it has the largest power station in the U.S. by nominal capacity because it's got all the Starbucks's. <laughs> to be able to power the espresso machines. Oh and my God. That's okay. not okay. Answering espresso. everything true. Don't they use the water? Why are we blurry? I think that yeah, it should be a hydro. What did you guys plant. do? You got no blurry. <laughs> Your camera is out of focus. Focus. What did you do? There you go. Dad. Okay. Okay. Dad. I have no idea. Dad. University of Washington Dad. and Washington Dad. State University. It's focus. How about it's called How about the apples? <laughs> How about the apples? <laughs> How about the apples? Uh, sorry, hey, maybe it's called Washington. Yeah. Sorry Washington. to interrupt. Um, yes, what's up? My blood sugar level just got below a certain level, which is kind of dangerous. So I'm going to have to eat. Yeah, okay, go, go take care of yourself. Go, 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 go. We'll hold down. Take care of yourself. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right. 
have an apple. <laughs> what is the yearly football you know, have a Snickers. called between the <laughs> with your Starbucks? No, I want Starbucks. Um, uh, I don't like Starbucks. Thankfully, I don't like I don't like coffee. Washington and Washington State. How well, if we knew the if we knew the answer to the bonus, if we knew what the mascots were called. Oh, what is true? Could it be a giant apple? Could it be Johnny Appleseed? No idea. Could it be a beaver? So. Beavers in Oregon. That's the University of. Um, I, I I have no idea. <laughs> what University of Oregon is a beaver. It's not the weird geo duck because that was the question from last week. Okay, let's see. What could be the mascot for either of these Washington places? What could it be? A vampire. What kind of up there. It's not Bigfoot, right? A bat. Could it be a bat? Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Bigfoot uh, is Sasquatch, or it could be uh, a vampire because of Twilight. Yeah, of uh. <laughs> well, you said a bat. Um, yeah. So, how about a moose or a meese? A moose. Meeses? Mooses. Could it be a moose? Meeses. Meeses is not a word. No. Mises is a word. They left cheeses for us. I voted your word. They left cheeses for us, Mises. So, what do you think of a moose being Mises. One, of the, one of the one of the um? I think we should go with the moose, moose and squirrel. <laughs> yes. Moose but wait, squirrel. do we need the actual name? No, just the um. The official, name, costume, official mascot. costume mascot is a moose. Right, but I think they want the character's name if it is. Uh, oh, oh, Morton Morton Morton. Morton. It's Morton the Moose. Is it Morton Milton the Moose. Moose? Milton the Moose? Okay. Milton King or Morton? Moose. King Moose. Milton. How about it's Milton King? The county is named after Milton King and How Milton about Moose, Moose King. Milton Which one are we going here? I'm just writing stuff Milton down. You got King Moose. Oh, you're just wrong. Uh, 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 <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, Moose King. Morton, Morton Moose King or Milton Moose. Moose? What do we King want? Moose. Milton Moose or Morton Moose. What do you say, Jordan? Milton or Morton? <sighs> Milton. Right, right, Milton. Milton. I think Milton is much better. Maria okay, so Milton. what is If the... it ends up being Morton, y'all can blame it on me. Yeah. How about the WW match? The UW versus WU. Woo you. You or WW because it's like World War Washington. It's it's, but it's probably it's probably woo versus woo woo woof woo versus woof woo the woo ha woo ha. Sorry. The, 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 the apple the apple pie bowl. The woo tang bowl. The apple pie bowl. The apple pie bowl. Apple pie bowl. Apple pie bowl. Apple pie bowl. I have no idea. Apple, apple bowl. I apple? Just an apple bowl. I just, the I just don't bowl? like there being a space there. We got to come up with something. So that's my bowl. answer. So we need to go up to the eight. Who's the king? King Milton King. Oh, <laughs> Milton. A, I still think it's, it's Moose King. King yeah. Moose. It's the <laughs> Apple Bowl. It's it's Milton. It's Mr. Milton Moose. King, and that's where Milton Moose gets his name from. <laughs> How is Jeff keeping a straight face? He likes them apples. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Loosen up, man. Yeah, but we don't care if we get all these Mr. wrong. We're having... I thought it was Moose King. Moose King. Moose King. King, King Moose. It's, it's Milton Moose Moose Why? Oh, we're going to be impossible. Mr. Moose. Moose. No. <laughs> Don't you be upset if it's not Milton? It was the other name. It was Morton. Well, I'm I'm bummed about uh, the previous round because I even mentioned we did the trope of adding kids, and because I think I've had discussions with Carl about that, but some of them I couldn't remember that they had added kids later. So I should I don't know. I should have spoke more strongly about that idea. Oh well. Okay. well have some we got a nine. Up, it's, it's decent. So what do you think is the Oh, come on. We can't have a king. 
Mark didn't look like Cain. No, no, just it is not MLK. Oh, that's a good answer, but it's not. I don't think it's right because I think it was already King before him. So I think we should put King George because what else are you going to put? King George for the King. Number eight. Not Milton King? No, King George is probably. It's more likely to be King George than Milton King. Fine. Milton King is such a shot in the dark. That's more than a shot in the dark. Let's just, That's a let's shot. Just have Jeff, give us the right answer. In the forest. Um. Someone, someone, slip Jeff a, uh, a an apple. of apples, and then he'll an give apple? us the right answers. Rachel will know. Rachel, what's the answer? I know it. No. <laughs> How dare you for not knowing the answer? <laughs> What's the official mascot of the University of Washington or Washington State University mascot? What was what would be a mascot? Yeah, because Rachel totally knows moose. that. I don't. You're we, studying. We that said it's a moose. Right no. <laughs> moose. I, I can't see it's, it being after, an apple. It's after eleven, you kids need to go to bed. No, it's Good Friday tomorrow. They should be like on spring break or something. Yeah, we're on spring break. Yeah, I can that's, stay why up for that's why they're up. I can stay up for as long as I want. There you it's go. Spring break. Put your foot down. Colors. Jordan's just going to fall asleep in the chair. <laughs> yes. The other reason I like organized religion, it gives me a day off. That's that's a good reason. 94%. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're leaving. Uh, good well, job, team. I need a package. I need to go. Well, if you want to check for me, there's a package. <laughs> that didn't give us our full minute, and we are at a longer head. We were like I finishing the last. Answer. I've been here the whole time. I didn't do anything. <laughs> it, it never, it never gives a full minute. My, like I said, when I was in the other one, it was seven. It was I was looking at it to seventeen, and then it bounced me out. It's like yeah. Okay. Text, yeah, text crazy. somebody, and you'll find text you guys if you're just. It was a multi-way discussion. All right. Team, oh, our right. team, did we go with true or false on that particular one? We go with Carl or Mike? Carl. Mm. I say yeah. true. I think true. All right. I say false. You aren't on it. Bob, <laughs> it's up to you. Did your team Bob. last time. Not fair. Should go with what I say. All right. All right. I'm ready. That was fun. Awesome. We got a little goofy in our room. If you guys want to watch yeah, the video, yeah. it's a little faith was a little. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right, I guess faith we're going with true on that. I'll have just bragging rights if it's not. Yeah. Well, so uh, question number one, uh, what is it for? And I will accept a actually a decently broad answer, but it's Boeing, yeah. and it's their final assembly plant building where they assemble seven eighty sevens indoors <laughs> whole they <laughs> so like that's why it's the world's biggest building by volume is because you have to fit an entire jetliner inside we got it many of them yeah yes it's it's pretty incredible An assembly line yeah um number two uh <laughs> the answer is true we're actually the second highest in the whole u.s in terms of glaciers with alaska of course being the first um, it's largely due to the high mountains and the impressive precipitation we get. So, yeah. So Mount Rainier, as uh, I think one room said, like, there's a lot of glacier around it. That's true. There is a lot of glacier around Mount Rainier itself, which is part of right there. Applause. Give me Mount Rainier. And the other thing is that we actually have two separate mountain ranges. We have the Olympics and the Cascades. So that also contributes a bunch of extra area. Uh, we just called so, number three is false but it's a commonly uh, purported myth of of uh, course there are farmers continuously operated farmers markets that go back to before the revolutionary war ooh. on the east coast so <laughs> yeah i thought we had one in boston that was old but i i thought maybe you were bragging yeah the, the oldest is lancaster <laughs> i've yeah. heard this so uh, it's amazing lancaster, that i've heard pennsylvania so not true, yeah then. But, or at least I'll say Lancaster, Pennsylvania is the oldest one I found. I have no idea if there are older ones, but it's definitely far older than Pike Place. So, but it's it commonly reported. And it's a myth. Um, number four is, of course, the Space Needle. Boom. Woo yep. Uh, number five is true. 
<laughs> is actually the second highest producer of all the U.S. states in terms of fruit and vegetables, and uh, with California, of course, being the clear winner. And it's not close, I'll, I'll say. So California is very big and has a lot of farmland. So um, number six, I hope you weren't misled, is of course New York City. Woo! Yay. Oh, oh I'm glad I, I talked him out of the answer. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Seattle isn't that big population-wise compared to New York City. So New York City Sorry, gets the population. Shouldn't have gone with my answer. <laughs> It's the one I still Especially since I brought favorite. up while you were saying that, that it was probably one of those where you swear up and down, it's this and it was. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, whatever. Why did you listen to me, Jeff? No, I mean, it I, was fun to ben. watch different teams. Like everybody had, I, I swear, I felt like I went to like two different rooms where there were at least two different people saying, no, my city has the most Starbucks. <laughs> I'm sure. And I was right. I said New York, and my other two guys yeah, didn't believe me. I talked about it. I talked about it. Street from our Starbucks. I'll give you a hit. Like the funny thing is, is of course the highest like density of anywhere is probably here in Seattle, only because inside the Starbucks corporate office, of course, there is a Starbucks. In fact, there's three. So <laughs> if inside a Starbucks you have three Starbucks, I think that reaches full Starbucks section. They they have them in like every train station in New York. Yes, they do. And like, you know, again, it's just a population thing. We're just not near that. None of that compares to Dunkin' Donuts in mass. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying you know, <laughs> Starbucks is that coming around. Uh, but yeah, um, number seven is very fun. And I know this is going to be a total groaner because... It's of course the Washington Territory, what? all the way to Idaho and Montana, and what like and it and so for those of you who said Oregon, you're right that the Washington Territory split off from the Oregon Territory. It was oh, a um, okay. So this is when it became a state. It condensed from the Washington Territory. So. But I, I admittedly was a little mean on that one. Did anyone get that right? Carl got it right. <laughs> did anyone else get it right? <laughs> <laughs> Carl got it right. Like, did any humans get it right? <laughs> did Kyle's <laughs> team no talk him out of the right, right answer? No, we did not. <laughs> Good for you guys. Okay, number eight. So number eight actually has two correct answers because- Is it a uh, moose? No. Um, the first one was William R. King, who was the vice president of Franklin Pierce. Um, the second, of course, is it was rededicated to Martin Luther King. Oh, yeah. So rededicated. Either of them. Oh, either. Romero wanted to say Martin Luther King and Faith talked him out of it. I was I was yeah. hoping for some people to we could have listened to joke. Romero. If you'd listen to Romero, Faith. We'll talk about it in therapy next week. <laughs> 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 number nine i definitely heard at least a couple of teams come up with it it is of course true grand coulee dam it generates almost all the power for western washington and all the cities in western washington as well as a lot of eastern washington and like we even export power to other states like it's huge it and like i've been there it's it's truly massive bigger uh, than niagara falls bigger than the hoover dam it's like it's hard to fathom how big it is until you're there. Like when you see it, it's a damn sight bigger. Yeah, it's a damn <laughs> sight bigger. Yes. Uh, Niagara Falls is tiny. No, like you just see it and you just go, damn. You know? <laughs> anyway. Damn. Okay. Number 10. I hope your team didn't talk you out of it, Karen. It is, in fact, the Apple Cup. Oh, we're so close. We got we're it. close. We said apple pie. Yeah. <laughs> said the apple bowl. Yeah. Apple pie Fair. counts. You make apple pie. Remember, close apple. to apple. We, we figured it was apple related. And Karen, I really hope your team let you keep this answer. You got Butch T. Cougar. And that what? is the hard one. Um, and the other one is Harry the Husky. These are the mascots. But what about Milton the they Moose? Got, they got the other one. I thought we had a Butch T. Cougar before. I don't know uh this is oh my god karen where the hell do you learn remember stuff like that 
Well, we got the other one though, Husky. They got. The I, 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 did have to, I did have to say official costumed mascot because University of Washington actually has an official live animal mascot, which is of course a husky, um, and his name is Dubs. Um, for no moose. So, no so moose Jeff, for, for, for teams well, we, like for teams like husky, us who just said name. husky, is that good enough? Oh wow, four times. No, I did ask for the name. Dam? So Jeez. we didn't get that one. I want to go see that. Where is this dam at? Grand Coulee. It's out in eastern Washington. It's Washington. like the northeastern part of the state. So Alaska is not considered part of the continental U.S. I guess. Correct. No. Hey, no, is is, is it near Spokane? No. Well, it yes, relatively, it's closer to Spokane than it is Seattle, but it is like north of Spokane. Oh. It's freaking out in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's northeast of nowhere. Yeah, but, but it's all like the other amazing thing that I learned about Grand Coulee when I was out there is it's responsible for the fact that Eastern Washington is arable. Like it diverts huge, the huge amount of water that it's like it's using the water to power pumps to pump the water to basically flood the Eastern Washington with water in order to make sure that agriculture has enough water out there in the fields. So, so Butch T. Cougar sounds like some sort of NBC show about an aggressive older lesbian looking for, <laughs> looking for love and, with younger women. <laughs> and that's and that's why I remembered it so easily. <laughs> she she knows all her she's mascots. She's going to do a category on just just obscure mascots, football mascots. So watch out, you guys. College football, college mascots. Better better study up on it. Good job, good job, Jeff. I don't think you had done, I think you've done, we've done a category in Washington before, but not these questions. Mm. So good in job. Washington or Washington? We've done both. Okay. <laughs> if I was reading it out, it was about Washington. If it was Washington, it was your category. Yeah, and that's possible. I think we might have done it and it didn't have those categories at all. Okay, so let's do our scores. We'd be almost done, here we go. How did everybody do? Let's start with, oh, let's start with, can brown eggs be made into Easter eggs? Yes, they can. Six. What? You were at seven. It's supposed to be seven. What's wrong with you people? Comrade, you shook my battleship. Trick question number eight. We have to get eight in the bonus round. We got six. Okay. Well, you're tied. We have radial symmetry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In Ru Soviet Russia, warship sink self. Five. <gasps> That's because they talked you out of that answer, huh? And you didn't listen to Romero on the other one. See? I'm looking at you guys. Okay. <laughs> that was the team on my. Seven. We're not retreating. Seven? Seven. And. Stop the count now. Quick. <laughs> Death, Death versus jur uh, her jurors. Eight. Well, wow. crushing it. Six point four. You guys are slacking. Ooh, okay. Very good. Now it's got some um, some closeness on here, so I'm a little worried now. Gail's going to have to kind of kick it up, right, Gail? Well, we'll do our best. Better not be spelling or anything. Nope, no spelling. Woody Gut Guthrie also says Washington. <laughs> oh, it's a correct way of saying it. I don't know why you guys think you're so superior because you <laughs> say it without the R. There is no I R. Wash my clothes. You wash your clothes in Washington. You wash your clothes in Washington. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm can you take, spell the I'm... word, Susan? Can you spell it? W a s h i n g. What do you know, how many you times are? did you say Do-A. R? How many times did you say R? It's the just there. R. It's a silent R. <laughs> you, you know, you, you know that it's not silent. You know it's that invisible. English is not a phonetic language. <laughs> it's it's invisible and missing and, and silent. It's not silent when you say oh, English it, is invisible. phonetic. Phonetic would be spelled phonetically. Yeah. Phonetics. Let Gail have a go. Come on, you guys. It's Gail's turn. Here we go. Okay, we're ready. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And then after you've got my screen, 
um, you'll have the category for the bonus. And we, okay. Oh. Okay, I hope you can see that now. Okay. It's going to be a matching with the breed of cat with the picture of the cat. And oh. if I did it properly, that link will give you the whole thing so that you'll have all the pictures. Can you put it in the chat, the link? I can certainly do that. Because we can do it. <gasps> oh, they wow. Are, what these are the beauty. pictures of the cat. That's my Misty. That's oh, what a, a beautiful kitty. Oh, B. look at that kitty. That's C. That's D. Oh, no, no, no. no. That's not, Mars, that's Martian, that's Martian. E, F, oh. G, oh. H, I, <gasps> J, and K. Aren't they beautiful? Except for that one. Except for the Marshall. Yeah. Really I want <laughs> all of these. <laughs> okay, those are the there are 11 that, that you? pictures. Can I get points if I don't need the chart here? Oh. oh. So you have to match the picture to the cat. To the cat. Yeah, okay. You picture. need a picture of the cat underneath the mat, and we have to identify. Those, are the, those <laughs> are the 11 names of the cats. These are on the top 20 right. cats. Carl is just going to blindly redraw all of them from memory. <laughs> you see, that cat, Carl's cat, is actually a Missouri disappearing cat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's a ninja so cat. I will send you, I will put the like a R in Washington. The chat. Okay. And what you need to do is those are those are the numbers, match them to the letters next to the cat, right? Okay. Or the name of the cat, as okay. you wish. As Does you anyone wish. watch uh, 911 Lone Star this week. What the heck are you talking about, Mike? Yeah. I've never heard of it. Are you what, in what Brooklyn? The you answer, answer was in that. If you watch that episode, you'll get at least one right. Well, you're in Brooklyn. You've okay. got 911. So hopefully that's going to work. It works. And good. <laughs> I want to just look at the pretty kitties. Well, okay. Do we get to give them names? Send them I, the I assume, name. Mike, you name are nowhere the near the Brooklyn shooter at the Subway. So you have to nap, identify. Well, good. I'm okay. I get shot. Were you on the subway that day? That morning? Uh, not on that subway line. I was on the sub subway later that day, kind of. Yeah. But it's a very pretty big subway. What we can do is come in second. Did I can always abuse my power and uh, kick him from the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> kick who? So Carl. can someone screen share the pictures or? Yeah. Somebody want to do it? Or do you want me to do it? Where's Gail? We're missing. Oh, Gail. What else? It was a Gail. Never mind. Never mind. We get Susan. Yay. Get Susan. Like, that's going to be a big help. Okay, here we go. I'll screen share since. Hey, okay. finally, a, a category I know, finally. Okay, so. Good. I don't know any of these. Here's the breed of cat. You might want to take a picture of that. Well, let's see. Yeah, the way this is constructed, it's really hard it's to. It's a little hard. Do. But okay, okay, wait a second. Let's just, I'm just going to write those down real quick. Sign me. I just, I just took a picture of it. I took a picture. Tag, British, five Norwegian, six Scott Fold, seven Persian, eight Tonk, nine Sphinx, 10 exotic short hair. And 11. That's the only one I don't know. The exotic short hair, Maine Coon. Did Caspian say when we were looking at this that he wanted them all? Yes. I thought that was your voice. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Are there, in fact, 11 or, no, or 10? 10? So one's oh, extra. Okay. okay, great. Okay. So this is kitty. pretty. Oh, it's adorable. It's, um, a, kid, it's, a, kid, Bob, it's a kid. Let's skip that Maine, one. Maine Coon. Maine Coon. That's not a main coon. No. That is not a main Let's coon. Let's skip Number that one. Number 10 is a main coon. Okay, okay, here, this one. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, that's, that's British? the British short hair. Is Gosh, it? it's a pretty kitty. Yeah. That's, that's a British a short hair. British short hair. Okay. okay. This one is... Persian. A Persian. Yep. This is... Sphinx. This Sphinx. Sphinx. That's going to be the Sphinx. Sphinx. Horrible. What is this blue thing around him? A blanket. Yeah, it's he's going to need oh, a blanket. I they shoved his, like... Okay. No. That's five, probably Siamese. And, Siamese. But there's but there's, there's but the several. one two down also looks like a Siamese. Yeah, yeah. I oh. think G is a okay. Siamese more than E. Got it. Skip E. Could be Tonkinese. No, that, that well, Scottish fold. Yeah, yeah. Scottish fold. Oh, look at that beautiful. That is a F. This is I Chinese. Think, I think H 
is the Norwegian skip, forest cat. Skip that one. Skip G. Nine. Oh, yeah. J is the Norwegian forest cat. H. This is the um... Maine Coon. Po possibly we have. That's. I think that's the Maine Coon because look at the ear. The how yeah. tall the ears are. H yeah. and J are the forest cat and the Maine Coon. I'm just not sure okay. which is which. J Number is the forest cat. Look at this cute. That's the cat. rag doll. Rag doll. Oh my god, what a beautiful huh. kitty cat. That's a that's not a main that's, that's a Norwegian forest Norwegian cat. Norwegian forest cat. Yeah. They they look like a cat. Is, that cat. A, is that a is that a domestic cat? They're huge. Yeah, yeah. domestic notice, forest. I think Norwegian it's a forest wild cats one. are domestic. Where but could you notice get one the of snow on his back? <laughs> He's from Norway. Okay, I oh. think that's the American short hair. American short hair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, aren't they adorable? Which one do we need to see again? Kitty. All of them. Okay. They're so, so the cute. Ta the Tonkinese is a combination of Siamese and a Burmese cat. Maybe so that's it'll, A. So it'll have more brown coloring, I think. Which so cat have we a? not given a, uh, which one? I think that's a Siamese. We're looking at A, E, and A, E, and one more. G. G. So I would guess that, G God. That G is the Tonkinese. G is Tonkinese, okay. Um, it's a guess because it's a cross between Burmese and Siamese. Yeah, okay, I, think, I think E is Siamese. I've got too many E's. <laughs> Which one is <laughs> stupider? Which of these cats is stupider? That will be the Siamese. <laughs> I think you can there's tell three by different looking. Siamese types, and I've only got two different Siamese names. I think E is Siamese. Yeah, I would go yeah. with that. And G is it's a little thicker, isn't it? It's like a. I would say that that's the tonky. Tonky. Okay. A little tonk tonk. Okay, so then this one what right here, A would be what? What do, what do we have left? We have uh, Siamese ragdoll. No, no ragdoll. Rag no ragdoll is number. Um, is what do we have left that we haven't chosen? A, E, and I. It's, it's a, I'm getting a musical chairs vibe here. I've got too many letters and not enough. Let's start over. Okay, okay A, we don't know yet. Wait Let me see, okay, A through what? A, B, C, D, There's e, A to K. F, G, H, I, J. There are 11 K. cats and 11 yeah, but, breeds. Right. Oh, so there are 11. Oh, so it's yeah. 11. Okay, okay, so I'm so missing number 11. So show the screen with the names on it, please. Yeah. Okay, exotic short exotic hair. Exotic short hair is what we don't have. Yeah. So maybe A? Sounds reasonable. You think okay. this is an exotic short hair? It doesn't look I would have short. called that a Burmese. If, if you told me, what kind of cat is that? I'd say, oh, it's a Burmese. Is Burmese on here? There's no Burmese on here. Burmese have Burmese have um a little rounder. They're usually brown, aren't they? I don't remember. I just call them kids. That doesn't matter. Know. It's not one of the not yeah, one of the yeah, I know. Well, but but the the uh, Tonkinese is a mixture of Burmese and um, then let's I'm, call that the Tonkinese. A. But it's not, it's, it, Robin. It's but it's not. <laughs> let's not do it. <laughs> this one right here is the is the Tonkinese, Tonkinese, right? Why do you think that? Because it's a blend between the Siamese and the and the the uh, the Burmese. That's what Karen just said. So and I'm sure I'm sure of that. I'm not sure if that is the Tonkinese, but I'm sure a Tonkinese cat is a mixture of Burmese and Siamese. Because this e is probably and G Siamese. look exactly the like alike to me. Okay, here's E and here's G. E it could be sibling mates. E is no. more of a is a is a smaller head. And more and the 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 dark patch is much larger on look at the beautiful ears look at on, the, on both G. of them so beautiful i think that's closer they're to very Siamese. they're very pretty kitties and this is probably a blend are siamese fluffy no not really 
No, no they're not. but none of these others are Siamese, right? No, I think E is Siamese. Okay, so A is exotic we don't That's going to be exotic short hair. That's all that's left, basically. Okay, so let's, and, let's read and what's, B, so. and what's B? B is British short hair. So look at the difference. If these are both short hairs, they don't look like short hairs. Yeah, but that's a British short hair right there. But is that also a short hair? Let's 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 keep going. Let, what's okay. let's go to C. That's a Persian. Okay. <clears throat> and that's a sphinx. <laughs> sphinx. Sphinx with an attitude. And that's a Siamese. Scottish fold. And that's a fold. And we think that's the Tonkinese. Yeah, possibly. Maine Coon. Maine Coon. Is that and is that one? Is Susan. that Maine Coon? Yes. Or or actually, what I think Jay that's the, the Norwegian. Coon? That's Norwegian. Yeah. Uh, Isn't that, I look am, at how I tall am. the ears are. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't Jay the Maine Coon? Yeah. I think yes. Yes, you're right. You're right. The tall ears, that's the Norwegian. And Susan, you got to look these up afterwards. They are like half half the size of an adult. These are huge cats. Which yeah. one? Coons? Coons are huge. Norwegian huge. forest cats are almost as big. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Very, so both, very close. both huge. Oh, and look that's at that dog. ugly little cute kitty. That's a dog. <laughs> and as I understand, Norwegian forest cats are very affectionate too. These? Oh, that's that's the main coon. That's, that's the main coon. coon. This is that's the Norwegian. The, H Norwegian. is the Norwegian forest cat. Main coon. Right. And uh, what do we decide for American I? short hair? American short hair. That's K, right? Yeah. Well, what do we put for A? Exotic short hair? Is exotic this short hair. Yeah. I have yeah. written exotic. down. It just seems have. so odd that that's a short hair and this is a short hair and this is a short hair. Well, because but there's no other short hair. Like, this doesn't short look like hair. short hair. Look at, the, um, look at the other ones that look Siamese like then. Maybe one of those is the short hair, exotic short hair. That one, that looks exotic and it has short hair. <laughs> I, I don't know. It just doesn't look like a short hair to me. I mean, if that's a short hair and that's a short hair. That's an adorable kitty. Then that doesn't look like a short hair. I don't know what else would be a short hair. And the more I look at number two, I'm thinking it looks, you know, it has a, that Burmese kind of look to it. But it doesn't look at all Siamese. That's why I'm thinking it's not the. Um, no, the I think you were right with what you called it the first time. British short hair. British. Right? Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? I want them all. They are, but those darn blue point kitties. Not this one. I don't want that one. That's that's freaky. I'm sorry. No. So what are we going to do about um, A, E, and G? I thought we had it. Well, E is a Siamese. Right. So, so it's so A and E. And that's the Tonkinese. The Tonkinese versus exotic short hair. Right. I guess it's just the exotic. By process of elimination, it's got to be the exotic short hair. It has to be. For A. I just want to look at the kitties again. And they both have blue eyes, so that's not a clue. Right. And these are affectionate? Extremely. And they're huge. Gigantic. And, and how do you get one? Uh, you either deal with a breeder if you're willing to do that, or you get lucky and acquire a kitten through the usual ways. Imagine the yeah. litter box for that cat. <laughs> they learn to use the toilet. Look at this little adorable little puggy nosy one. This little boxer. Look at those little leggies. Still think that's a, that's a, I think that might be a munchkin. I want to make sure I got all the right answers down here. 
Okay, you want me to go at the beginning? So can yeah. you, yeah, start at the top. Okay, I'm, that one? I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I have, and I'll read off the, uh, A, I have exotic short hair. Right. B, I have British short hair. Okay. Go, go faster. C, I have Persian. Sphinx. D, I have Sphinx. E, I have Siamese. F, I have uh, Scottish full. Uh, G, I have Tonkinese. Uh, H, I have forced. Uh, uh, J. Uh, J. I, I have uh, Coon, I, Wayne Coon, and uh, K. I have American short hair, and I is Ragdoll. And this J is what? J is uh, Maine Coon. Okay. Good job, team. Any excuse for cat pictures? That like, was fun. I will take any. I will take any any chance for cat pictures. No, you know, I, I like I like the cat uh, cat theme. Uh, I oh, love they're cats. They're just so cute. So, so I, I some... hope you all noticed that there are eleven, right? I was just going to yeah. say that I'm very confused. And about the reason that. is so that you could you didn't automatically miss two, so the eleventh one becomes the bonus. You only get credit for ten of them. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that we can score a nine, Rob. Mm -hmm. You can get you can get one wrong and still so have ten. Okay. Right. Okay. Are you ready for the answers? Yeah, I'm going to share my screen with the answers and then I'll put it in chat. Okay, uh, that's not the screen I wanted to share. That's the screen <laughs> I wanted to share. Okay, I've got the answers up here twice. Once it's the names of the breeds with the with the letters, and the second time it's the numbers with the letters. You can do it either way. I don't know how our team. I hope our team got everything. <laughs> what? I can't see 10 and 11. Can you slide it up a little, Gail? So there you go. Thank you. A little down, a little bit down. There you go. Thank you. Um, oh, we got those backwards. Well, you can do it either uh, way. No, this no, I mean, the we order that the wrong. animals were yeah, on the. We got, we got one wrong. These are the picture. The order the pictures were there, and the letter for the right, the right name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't do right. Which one did we do wrong? Or no, maybe not. I'm just getting them. Okay, never mind. Just I need to see the pictures. Can you do the pictures and just say? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can do the pictures, but they don't have the answers on it. Or just Let say me what put they the are. answers in the chat, and then I'll show you the pictures again. The, they're in order on the on the answers. Wow, you didn't get the numbers. I don't think that's weird. She got all only got two of the numbers. Yeah. Reason. <laughs> okay. So here are. So how are we scoring this? Um, one point for each two. answer, up to a maximum of ten. Okay. So if you missed one, you still have a ten. Okay. Because otherwise, if you missed one, you had couldn't get the other one right, right? Okay. Okay. okay so, do you want to screen share and show and just say that? Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> okay. Let me pull up the PowerPoint again. With these, with these answers, there are no wrong answers. <laughs> I want to see a picture of a Norwegian, uh, Norwegian forest cat's litter box. <laughs> <laughs> So I go through them. This is their, they're in they're in the order. Okay, so let's click in the picture for A. Okay, let's do slideshow from the beginning. Okay, now we're gonna do it here. We don't want it here. You don't okay, need just to click on the picture. Just, just, just click, click on, on the it. picture. Kitty, kitty. Just click on the picture. So what is See, that? What is that? What is A? <laughs> what is A? First Tell us what A was. First one's the ragdoll. Okay. Let's no. What? Look at, the, look at the answers as we're going through them. We so can't, tell us, tell, we can can't see them. <laughs> Tell us what A is. It was in the chat, you guys. Okay. Yeah. A is the ragdoll. Oh. Ragdoll. No. 
A is the rag doll. Damn rag doll. Hey, that's the only one B, I got. Just my cat. C is the British short hair. Mm -hmm. C. Wait, no. Yeah, that's a that's Persian. a Persian. <laughs> this is C. That's C, C is, Persian. The Persian. C is the Persian. C is the Persian. He's the Persian. Yes. The Persian. Yeah. That's yeah. what I said. D is the British short hair. C is the Persian. Okay. D is the is is the um. Sphinx. Um, Sphinx. I'm having trouble keeping these up here at the same time. Just click um, on D. D <laughs> is the Sphinx. Oh, why is it? Double click on D. Click on him. Double click, click on, on him. Real quickly. Click on him. D okay. is the Sphinx. Yep. E, Maybe you spoke a little too soon, Kevin. D e e is, is the Siamese. <laughs> okay, we got that. F. F Scottish is fold. Scottish fold. Yeah. One of the easiest years give that one away, right? Yeah. This is fold back, huh? G. Tonkinese. G is the Tonkinese. Sphinx is H. Deep. Norwegian forest cat. H is. Uh huh. Look at that. Yeah. I wouldn't want to brush that, though. Which one is this? This one oh, is yeah. H, H, is, an, H is a Norwegian forest cat. Okay. I is the exotic short hair. Oh, uh, little, you up. little jerk. You little <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Can you tell by its fur? J is the main coon. K is the American short hair. Yeah, American, American short hair. That's it. That's okay. I would like to say something uh, for any anyone who has ever said anything about Susan's suggestions and having wrong suggestions. She was the only person who was saying, I don't know. How could that be? You know, I, that, I don't think. I, know, I did say I did say that. Yeah. Well, we didn't have a choice. We thought we all knew them all. So. Well, some of them were very easy, but some of them were, were not so easy. Close. Yeah. Tonkinese and Siamese to me was a was a toss-up until I looked at the back end of the Tonkinese. Yeah. You can, it didn't have the color of the Siamese. Ah. That's the that's the only reason I could tell them apart. Look at that. See the back end? It's not dark like the Siamese should be. That's oh, how okay. I distinguish that. Oh, Siamese, Siamese are supposed to be dark back in the back? Yeah, it's got colors in the back that aren't white like the other one. Hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought the British short hair was the uh, one with the stum nose. Mm. Oh, that's exotic. It looked like yeah. It. And it is exotic, don't you think? Oh, God, they're cute. Okay. Right. I want to, before you go on to the scores, I'd like to show you something. Um, if you'll give me sh uh, screen sharing privileges. Sure, go ahead. Oh, you found a letterbox for? Yeah. Look at people holding the Norwegian cats. Oh my God. Mm. Huge. Oh. Susan? <laughs> Huge. I'm gonna bring one of those home. It doesn't hey, even Karen. look like a real, like it looks like it's, like it's a Photoshop the Savannah cat. or something. It belongs you, in a zoo. It looks How like, do you know the people like aren't just small? And we're <laughs> <still> <laughs> they're all Hobbits. Midgets. Karen, they're Hobbits. Karen, Karen, look Photoshop. Up, Karen, look up Maine Coon and Ron Perlman. <laughs> like, oh, there's Maine no. Coon, Maine, yes, there's a Maine Coon cat that looks like Ron Perlman. Yo, it's Ron even Perlman? auto it for me. So many people have searched. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, especially that one up on the top. Oh top my right. god! Yeah. <laughs> oh, those that are crazy no, looking. Top right. <laughs> oh my gosh! Who is Ron Perlman? That guy. Beauty and the Beast. How dare you? Oh boy! Oh, oh I see. White Hellboy. You gotta scroll down that one right down the left with the two cats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like in like every movie. Guillermo del Toro movie ever. Oh, is oh, he? What was he in? What was he in? Uh, Nightmare Alley. He was one of the. Uh, he was one of the carnies. Yeah, he, a strong man. He was the bad guy in. Uh, 
Oh, so, rag, ragdoll, yes, yeah, your name. Ragdoll. Who's oh, got the weird sound? Yeah, ragdoll. Yeah. Very good. Let's go to our our um our uh, point. See, you can see John. It's more excellent social job, than it is trivia. Gale, excellent job. <laughs> There's a lot of trivia, but it's it's pretty social. Okay. I'm gonna put something in the chat. We should be warned for that. Is it a litter box? Well, I it's a it's a dog that looks like an actor. <laughs> but I can't make it work. This is a good category idea. What actor does this animal look like? <laughs> <laughs> okay, match so. the match the actor matching actor to the animal that looks to the, like to the cat. Okay, so comrade, you should have my battleship. Oh look at there's 27, 27, and 27. That's sort of a deadly year, isn't it? We got we got seven. Seven? Okay. So can brown eggs be made into Easter eggs? Three. <laughs> what? Well, it might be Whoa, partly because man. we have the least freaking number of people in this game. Just saying. <laughs> this... yeah, we're down to oh, you guys three couldn't people. pick out the kitty cats? Can I stay awake this time? I'm very proud of you, Larry. Okay, so we're not retreating. We're advancing in the opposite direction. Nine. Oh, I, I, I went back <laughs> to gotten this one. In Soviet Russia, worship sink self. I'll never get a, nice. I'll never get a part as a, a nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Depth versus herd. I would never have thought this team name would have been a winner. Nine. The maximum <laughs> points you can get, you guys, is 50. So, woohoo! Can you kick ass on that? Pretty one? good. That, that pretty team good did score. rather well. Yeah, yeah, uh, really uh, quite, quite. And everybody else was all bunched up together. What was, what was, why was your That's team doing this? Just for kicks and chittles. <laughs> so, because of our team. team. My okay, team so nobody's team. going anywhere before I have two. I need two, 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 two. Terry, so, Peggy, and Leonard are going to bed. Bonus. We're not playing pit right now. <laughs> so Caspian's going to do one next week. Right? Make sure you close. My I door. cannot commit to that. Well, then, what should I say? Caspian has a commitment problem. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, is that Caspian again? Did he volunteer? No, he said, "Well done." Oh, it, oh, Karen, was it you? No. Who okay, here's it? the here's the dog. This is my neighbor's Newfoundland, and it's it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, like a lion. I said it looks like, like Gerard Depardieu. I would. Oh, yeah. I'll do. Yeah. I'll do one. I'll do a quick <laughs> category. Okay, Karen, she stepped up. Thank you, Karen. Oh, Leonard, did you say you want to do? Okay. Oh, you're already doing bonus. I'm. I'm doing bonus. Okay, that's right. So. Want another mystery one next week? No. <laughs> yes. okay two weeks then yes i'm going to be gone so you guys are going to be suffering because you're going to just not have me to pick on there will be no trivia no we'll do trivia okay so i'm putting i'm putting kevin who's hosting uh we'll figure out probably you put me down for next week or the week after no next week okay next sorry week. leonard nobody nobody jumped <laughs> I'll, I'll survive kevin Okay, I'll make I will I'll make survive. it one you can handle. <laughs> okay, so good job, team. Everybody, you guys get to go. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank I'll, you. Be I'll put the questions up on on. Um, I hope we were nice enough to you, John. Oh, it was fun. I I appreciate you guys having me. Woohoo! Oh, anytime, you know anytime. What, we're at, what we do. Except we mix up the teams each week. Every time you're with different people, so it's I, just. My I mean, schedule, you might randomly get the same people, but yeah, my schedule is so crazy right now. I just don't know if, when, if, and when I can make it. You had to get COVID. <laughs> had to get COVID. That's what it's for. Yeah. All right. So this will all be up on YouTube. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night.